Hey guys, uh, Randy Sklar, Jason Sklar, Daniel Van Kirk from Dumb People Town. Yep. We have Hello. an amazing guest this week. This guy was perfectly designed and engineered to do this show. To do this show. For yep. all the great stuff he does, he has come in wearing what I can only be described as the comedy version of an Indiana Jones hat. Although. <laughs> It is 100% serious. Mean? No, what's it mean? It looks good. It looks but it, great. But if, also, Pharrell, if Pharrell did comedy. We took 10 times longer. It's getting worse and worse. We <laughs> took 10 times longer introducing you on this promo than we do on the show. <laughs> ah, that's true. <laughs> Paul F. Tompkins. Oh. Hi, guys. Yes. He is amazing. I did it. We go. We, we talk. Homer Stacy the second. We talk mad poopers. <laughs> we talk Homer Stacy the Machetes second. Machetes and wheelchairs. Uh, and it two is. dumb kids just looking for a bump. <laughs> <laughs> it's all there with Paul F. Tompkins. I love you. Hi, I'm Jeff B. Davis from Harmontown, sitting here with uh, Spencer Crittenden. Hey, guys, we're here to talk to you about rhetoric coffee. Are you guys coffee drinkers? Are you junkies? Do you get up in the morning and you're, you're just no good until you have that cup of coffee? Or do you just like to sweat a lot and get the shits? Yeah, no, that second one is definitely me. I like to sweat a lot and get the shits. Does that apply to this ad at all? <laughs> Uh, strangely, yes. We're talking about Rhetoric Coffee. Rhetoric Coffee doesn't just give you unwanted diarrhea. It's the best subscription service coffee you'll ever taste in your life. Rhetoric commissions original art directly from comic book artists and then hand screen prints them on each bag. Each one you receive has a special life and is a unique organic work of art. I, we got this flat, like bag right here. They, they, they gave us bags of coffee. I'm like... This is me crinkling a bag of rhetoric coffee. Look, I'm opening it right now. Oh my god, it smells like heaven. It's it smells like it smells like being like a like a like a angsty teen. He's Spencer is actually eating full coffee beans right now. That's good. <laughs> oh, dear God. That is great. Oh, somebody call the police. Not only are they fun to chew on, you could probably make coffee out of them. And you get to feel good about drinking that coffee because it's what I call ethical coffee. Rhetoric goes above and beyond fair trade, not just for their coffee, but in how they pay the artist that put the art on the bag with the coffee in it that Spencer is now currently chewing. Oh, yeah. Everyone wins. <laughs> You're a fucking monster. <laughs> Their relationship with their artists allows the artists to continue making prints of their original work while allowing them full use for Rhetoric's projects. Everyone wins. Everybody wins. Everyone wins. Each roast is completely unique. You won't taste these complex flavors anywhere else. Their commitment to quality is top-notch. They are drinking what they are selling. They're getting high on their own supply. You know, they say not to do that, but it's also, I guess, a mark of quality in some sense. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to go to a drug dealer that doesn't get high on his own supply. That makes me feel like he doesn't believe in the product. It might not be good business sense, but it's definitely, you know, a good product. Yeah. Go to rhetoriccoffee.com and sign up now and use the promo code FERAL, F-E-R-A-L, for a 30% off discount. You <laughs> go to FERAL. F E R A L for thirty percent off your first roast. You never, you never forget your first roast, Spencer. I, I never will. The first roast is the deepest. That's R H E T O R I C Coffee dot com. Sign up and use the promo code Feral for thirty percent off your first roast. Coffee so good you can chew it. Did you just get a bunch of uh, wild uh, Chuck Spencer queuing just to have? Feral Audio. Ladies and gentlemen, from beautiful Uptown Burbank, Hartman Town is now in session. <laughs> Let's welcome to the stage the Game Master, Spencer Crittenden. And your mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming out. It's a holiday weekend. It's a night. It's a, it's a, we take it for granted that we've, we keep filling this place, but uh, we, you know we've got this venue now, and it's like it's not easy to get people over here. It's Burbank, <laughs> so these, these these all these people that keep filling the joint, they're they're obviously um, we could probably do anything. We, we, we got them on the hook. <laughs> who, who drove really far, like from, from L A? Like how far did you come from? Minnesota. You drove from Minnesota. <laughs> See, now that's a hell of a drive. Yeah, that's a lot harder. You must have, you must have left like this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> 
Yeah, who wants to go to uh, Burbank from Minnesota? That's crazy. What part of Minnesota are you from? Uh, the Twin Cities. The Twin Cities. Which ones? <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Hello, Dan. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, you, you seem like you got something on your mind. Well, no, I'm just trying to think of what I do have on my mind. I'm afraid I don't have anything on my mind. It seems I, like you have nothing on your mind right I'm, now. Uh, I'm in the midst of a like uh, deadline on a, on a treatment that I'm, that I'm supposed to turn in. I should have turned in on Friday, and I just kind of, it's been one of those weekends where you saw it coming, and it was like, it's a four-day weekend. This is going to be great. I got the, the sick dog, so I wasn't even allowed to leave the house, so it was really... Cody and I were like, it's going to be four days in the house, like just sitting in bed, we, 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 and we don't even have to feel like we're bad people for doing that because we got a dog that, to take care of. And, uh, is, and then I had to go, Nigel, fuck it up. Is Nigel all right? Yeah, he's okay. He, yeah, Nigel, so yeah, Nigel ate like a big clump of grass, and then he uh, uh, it, it was in there, and then I, it, it, look, man, I. I, I <sighs> So Spencer was, you know, was the hey point guys. man on this. Uh, <laughs> I you know, Spencer. Nigel open. So, 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 so we go, we go into the the veterinarian and uh, with the with the with the Nigel dog, and uh, and the doctor comes in and he's taking X rays and then he's taking X rays the next day. So he's analyzing this thing, and he he, he and it's like oh, there's this thing in his stomach, and he's like, I thought we were bringing him in for surgery, but then the guy says. Uh, he goes, uh, well, at this point, you know, I think uh, we should just wait because it's moving, this thing. And it's just like this big thing. It looks like a tube sock. But it looks like a tube sock because now it's in its intestine. So everything that you would put in there would look like a tube sock. <laughs> the, 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 you, could put, you could put gold in there and it would look like a tube sock. It's kind of a neat idea. Um, <laughs> The uh, and he keep but he has this like thing and I'd still I'll never know I, I don't know he just kept going like we would say well he's panting now and then he'd go well you guys he's a sick dog and he just had that like lilting tone and every sentence began with you guys and so and then we'd go like so so you think we shouldn't we shouldn't operate on him well you guys it's, it's uh, you know it's it's we don't know or, or something like like and every and like the fifth time he did that. I, I said, you know, you do this thing where you keep saying you guys and <laughs> like, and there's this tone and it's it, with the message that we're getting is that you don't want any information. We're from not us. doing anything wrong, doctor. We're asking questions and saying words. Right. Like we're he's getting mad we, at us. We, we, th we were, th we're assuming that the, the science of caring for a dog since the dog can't talk. Like that, maybe it might involve co collecting some data from us, or maybe, hey, I mean, what? I mean, I was just like, I, I just want. Usually in that situation, maybe, and then maybe this is a bad habit that I have. Maybe I'm a bully. Maybe I, I like, like when people are making me uncomfortable, making me feel bad. Maybe I'm accustomed to the fact that then I'll shine a spotlight on it, and maybe because I'm a six foot tall, uh, fat, like ursine kind of dude, like, like maybe, maybe I get, maybe I'm like spoiled. Like maybe, like most of the people I'm talking to, maybe I wouldn't do that if I was talking to like The Rock. You know, I, I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't like adjust him. You know, like, 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 like I, maybe I need to examine that. It's like, like a bit, but I, I haven't thought about that because because it always works, because usually what the person does is they go, oh God, oh geez, no, because the very fact of like you're, a, you're just pointing out that there seems to be some kind of breakdown is enough to get everybody kind of scrambled and then you reset, now you're recalibrated and you're communicating as humans. That's what I usually find. But it, I, I was like, hey, you know, you're doing this thing and it sounds like you don't want us to talk to you and uh, we don't know if we're supposed to say anything and, and that's all, if that's the case, then I don't know. And, and, then, he, and then he just kind of blinked, right? And then he was like, uh, well, you know, it's a, it, you know, he's a sick dog, and uh, he's gonna say, uh, you know, my recommendation is that at this point we should wait. And you know, if you guys don't like uh, having me as a doctor, you know, you could get another doctor. You get another doctor. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! But I, I didn't do any. I was like reeling, and I was like, like, like a silence. I was like, I don't, how do I react to this? And during the silence, Spencer goes, "If you think that's best." Well, it was. It wasn't like just hold on, just hold on. It, I think said I think I said that we trusted his opinion and we'll do whatever he thinks we should do or something like that I don't think it was like sarcastic like yeah give us another doctor I oh, think no, it was no, like no. A, yeah you, you, no you we trust you're the guy right. you're the guy to listen to you, you right. don't, don't want to piss off a doctor when your your dog is sick it's like you're pissing off like a waiter can spit in your food yeah your, it, your doctor can metaphorically spit in your dog and <laughs> Yes, he could. Kill your dog. So, so that guy leaves. He right. just leaves. And, and like, then I heard I... him slap an animal. 
I thought when he said, uh, "You guys, if you guys want, you can see another doctor." I thought he was saying it like a like a teenager would say it, like a like a passive aggressive kind of like, you know, well, maybe I'll go eat some worms if you want me to go eat some worms, you know, like, and we're supposed to go, "Oh no, you're a great doctor," which is why I was like stunned. I didn't know what he was saying was, "Oh, we have several doctors here. Let me go get another one," which I guess is what he's doing. You could hear him faintly out there talking to another guy, and I'm like saying to Spencer, like, "What? What is it? Me? Is it you? Is it what? Is it the dog? What is, is it? Him? Like?" And I was like, "I don't think he." Knows knows that he sounds passive aggressive. I right. think he's just stupid in that sense. Yeah, he had like a, you know, maybe an aptitude for uh, treating dogs probably doesn't uh, spike in the same brain statistically as an aptitude for like communicating with people. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, there, there are certain fields of medicine that like, like doctors will tell you that like, no, like we're not people persons or we're not people people. We're, 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 we want to solve you. We don't want to hang out with you or talk to you. We don't touch you. Right. Uh, we, we just want to like open you up and look at your insides. Sure, maybe this guy was like, oh, I get it. They're animals, so I can be like a savage, horrible, primal monster. Maybe, I... maybe you're so ursine, and because he's a veterinarian, he thought you might actually be a bear. Right. <laughs> and so it was like a... And he kept a, saying the, you guys to prove that you're actually a person and not a bear. It was the veterinarian equivalent of like a racism thing. Like where, where he, was like, he didn't really believe I was a bear, like a magic talking bear, but... <laughs> I, I put off enough of a ba- bear vibe right. that a guy who loves dogs and cats and treats their ales is like, I don't like this guy. Yeah. Looks, he looks like someone that eats in a landfill. <laughs> and, and, and that's an enemy of, of, of the canine and the feline in my book. My name's not Dr. Asshole. So, 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 so five minutes goes by and the new doctor comes in. And he goes, hello, my name's Dr. Ruiz. And, and that was a surprise. We did not expect a different doctor to no. come through the door. Yeah, we, I, I thought maybe like a bouncer from Jerry Springer would come in or something and like go, like, well, you guys got to go. Like, uh, we need this room. I, we didn't really. But a, a new doctor comes in. Hi, I'm Dr. Ruiz. He, he shakes our hands. And then he starts looking at the x-rays. And he, and he, he, he acts like there's, but he just, like, like nothing has happened. He goes, he goes like, I'm Dr. Ruiz. So, uh, so we're going to do some exploratory sur- surgery on, on Nigel. We're going to go in and we're going to pull this foreign body out uh, and, and I'm like what? And, 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 Sp- and Spencer says okay but uh, what would you say if we told you that the last guy said the exact opposite thing <laughs> and the guy says oh no I know that I just talked to him I totally disagree with him I have a, I have a totally second opinion are, are, about are what to partners? do about your dog. Are, are, is, it, is it Anderson and Ruiz? Like, 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 like good cop, the bad their... cop? They're like, this is the thing that will plague me forever because this guy was nice and I was like, yes, now we're talking. Cut my dog open. See you later. Here's $1,700. I'll see you three days from now. I should change my dog's life with a scalpel and just walked out skipping and going, and going like, by the way, that first guy's a prick. But like, 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 what, what, was I my part of some? Were they just like, uh, like, you know, like, you, you know, the, like, the, the guy comes out and he goes like, oh, we gotta, you know, they probably have some veterinarian code for it. Like, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta DFI or whatever. Yeah, like, that, that's not, like, like, we, we, and, 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 like, gotcha. Let's cut his dog open and make him pay. And like, <laughs> we, we just is the is the is the second Wait, guy yeah, yeah, the, the is the first... second guy totally inept and love? Do they call him the butcher of Burbank and like? <laughs> Uh, but but he's a, he's a people pleaser and so and so was our first guy like the Einstein of of of, of dog eat, dogs eating shit and, and I was just like fuck man you know like 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 when he's on Charlie Rose Charlie Rose would go what what do you think is the biggest problem facing veterinarian medicine I think it's I think it's the worship of the myth of bedside manner I got to tell you I, I like 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 I I've, I I think we're I think we 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 these these are patients that can't speak to us and if they could I, I'm sorry I'm getting upset Charlie he's like yeah you, well you're doing this thing you sound kind of patient. See, it's happening again. But I'm telling you, I'm a good fucking dog doctor, and I could have been a brilliant child doctor, but nobody's gonna let me near those little fuckers. <laughs> I, like, like, so I, so I, so I humble myself. I stoop. I try to do my best. No harm. I come into this stinky hospital. I'm dealing with these little, tiny, scaled down, disposable patients. Uh, but I'm still a big prick. I'm still the worst guy at the hospital. And he's like, he's trying to save you money. He's like, I don't think this is a big deal. Yeah. You're going to talk to Ruiz in, in 45 seconds, and he loves to charge you for... Like, yeah. uh, I'll go get Jack the Ripper. Uh, uh, elective, yep. <laughs> elective dog surgery. Oh, you like feeling good about, uh, about yourself? You, know, you want to make a best friend that loves cutting your dog up? I'll go get him. So what happened? Did, did, did Nigel get sliced open? Yeah. And they... And they <laughs> 
And the ongoing debate was, is this going to be the world's, is this going to be the end of our MeUndies uh, relationship? Because is he going to pull out like a whole thing? Because Nigel just eats a lot of fabric and stuff. And it looked like, you know, they, they give the dog barium. And then all we knew is that there's a big thing that soaked up all the barium moving very slowly through him. So they, then Spencer called the hospital, and then uh, uh, the subtext of the story is Spencer loves my dog more than me. Uh, the, the, but he said they, they, they pulled grass out of him. It was just grass. It was a bunch of grass, yeah. You know, cows, it takes them like three whole stomachs to digest that it's shit. Cellulose, you can't digest cellulose unless you're a... Dog. Uh, oh, wait, wait. No. no. <laughs> Dogs and humans, who don't talk, deer and uh, cows... That's it. They have they have different systems to digest cellulose. If you can get into the cellulose digesting game, that's like oh boy, that's like panning for gold. Like like like, like that you got to make a lot of biological sacrifices. You there's probably, there's you so know. much food in elephant poop that elephants, if they get hungry, can eat their own poop. There's still that much food in because their poop. it's hard to break cellulose down. It but really they, is. so they break down a little bit. It's like a very difficult thing, you know. Gra- I guess maybe grass at one point was like Jesus Christ. What are we the 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 the, 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 the biosphere's toilet paper? Like what? A, like everyone's just going to eat us? Fine. Try try eating us now. Right. And then everyone was like, bah, 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 and they're like, yeah. My, my dog. I had, a, I had, a, I had a, cr- a crazy dog when I was a kid and ate a bean bag open and ate all the st- the little tiny styrofoam pellets. Ate like as much as a, as, as could fit inside of a dog. <laughs> and then just kept pooping styrofoam poop. Yeah. Which was amazing because it was like the easiest poop to pick up. Because it was so lightweight and <laughs> versatile. And then one time, ate, went into one of my shoes, ate the shoe, like, like a basketball shoe I had, it had like one of the, the, the foot liners, like the little pads that goes in there. Ate the thing, and it came out a spiral foot liner. It, 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 did, it came out like you could have put that back in the shoe. Well, so, not, yeah, Nigel like fucking everything. boa constrictors. Like, Nig- a food goes... uh, Nigel ate a coat hanger two days before this all happened, which is why I thought, I was like, oh, it's a coat hanger. He must have wood splinters in there. He ate a coat hanger, a wooden, a nice wooden coat hanger. He probably ate the, ate the grass to, uh, like, chase it. That yeah, was... <laughs> it's probably, it could be what it was. They yeah. eat something softer than a coat hanger. They do, they do eat grass. If, you know, that's what everyone keeps saying. Well, you know, they eat grass when their stomach hurts. I'm like, what is this, what is this information? Why are you gainsaying me? It's a story. They already pulled it out. What do you want me to do about that? You want me to go talk to the dog? I think dog? they want you to talk. not know more than they do because they studied medicine and they know how to fix dogs. Oh, well, no. I was talking about people on Twitter. That's oh, just okay. Like you say, oh, yeah. don't, don't do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think grass is thinking? What was it about, like, evolutionarily? Like, wait, what, what was it? So gra- grass is like a half step up from... Because I know moss, you know. I know moss. And... <laughs> Moss is like pre Can, can we have one podcast, Dan, where you're not going on your moss ramps? <laughs> moss is like your, your basically your first plant. You know, it's like the idea of like, well, why don't we maybe, well, what are we doing on the water all the time? Why don't we just like be on a rock next to the water? And then like, like we'll get splashed and we'll drink that, but then we'll get a lot more sunlight or something like that. But and it's, that's before the advent, because then you're just limited to like the, the, the surface of uh, things. And, uh, and then the big, the big step was capillary action, taking advantage of water's slight negative ionic charge, which you will see illustrated when you do dishes and try to pull your plates apart. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a whole, that's, the, that's how, but water, if it didn't have that, if it didn't have that slight charge to it, then it couldn't be drawn up as far, basically, as you want to. A redwood tree is using that, that, uh, that slight charge to carry uh, water all the way up. I'm probably very wrong about most of this. <laughs> but it's the precursor this, of our... By the way, Dan, went to, Dan briefly went to community college and, and took a biology class, learned a lot about plants, and now knows exactly this much about plants, yeah. but wrote a TV show about going to community college. Right. But it's pretty fascinating because water has the first thing you learn in biology is like, well, let's talk about water first. It's because the water is like, this, oh, it's everywhere to us. And it's like, oh, water, fuck water. Like, uh, eat shit, water, you're a piece of shit. Like, you're just like, whatever. Like, oh, water's here, who cares? Uh, uh, oh, it's old 80% of the earth. Uh, and, but water is, uh, it's a magical, a magical, <laughs> it's not magical. That's, that's, if I'm trying to get you interested in science, I shouldn't call things magical. Uh, you should, I, would, I, should, I, should, I should write a book about wizards or something and if I wanted to uh, the, the, you should the, write a book about wizards I, I, good. and you know what it's not hard um, 
It has many properties that make life on Earth possible if water was just a little bit different in any way. For instance, water expands when it freezes, so it floats. So a planet that goes through an ice age, the water on top freezes, and you get your little tiny boogans underneath, your little, your little creep, creepy fish. They can, they can keep living. All as you know, like little, little monsters. Cryo boogans, they call Cryo boogans. Them. Yeah. Then that Earth thaws, and we come crawling back out, and we go, let's, let's, let's do this again. Hmm? We couldn't do that if... You're if, fucking if, dropping some serious science on this show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like your Pink Floyd shirt. That's, that's very exciting. Yeah, Cody went to the, uh, to the Roger Waters concert. Uh, I guess he has, like, this big dick. Like, like, like it's a, She showed me pictures. Like, did, did anyone go to the... Does anyone, is anyone into Roger Waters? Like, it's a, like... like I got, she showed me a picture. I'm, I'm very, I, I, when I was uh, your age, I, I, uh, I, I mean, when I was 15, I, I was like really into the Roger Waters Pink Floyd. It was very important to me, and, and but I never actually bothered to see a photo of him because this was all it was pre-internet. I would go type Roger Waters. Oh, let's see how he looks because I'm not a vain person. I don't I don't live in that world. For I I I I, I thought he was probably black because he was important to me. And I didn't care. I cared enough to think he was black and positively judged him for the color of his skin. Uh, but anyways, he, he's, a, I mean, he's a very fit man because he's got to be 109. And, and, and like he, 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 but he, so he's like, I mean, he's definitely like not eating what I ate this weekend. But it, and it's like a picture of him from the, from the thing. But he's just like, he's got this big boner in his pants. And Cody sent me a photo. She's like, "Look how big his dick is, and look, look, look how hard it gets from his work." <laughs> and like, really, you can just like this is very, like, like, like that's a he he wins because also he made that album, and it was like, oh, hey, well, walls are important to kids because they're about education or psychology. Like, well, I'm young, I'm gonna, oh, I got, it's all, oh, it's a brick in the wall. And then, and then he got into his, you know, Steve Martin's uh, tweeting a couple, a uh, couple bad jokes on Twitter kind of phase where you're like, kind of like, okay, I'm not the sharpest guy. I should probably try to hire writers from here. Uh, like, kind of, you know, we get, I'm getting to that age where you, you want to start mentoring in comedy and, and and other things. Like, you're not, you know, like, well, you know, you kind of you're going into your Gandalf the Brown phase, uh, kind of just like going, <laughs> going, going, just to like start getting into growing basil or something, and. Uh, <laughs> But at that exact age, the Berlin Wall comes down, and Roger Waters comes out of retirement. So like, like, oh, let's do a concert for the Wall because it's oh the Wall, and now now you got. And then Trump is like, oh the Wall, and he he was like, let's do it. <laughs> he's got he's got a perfect life. I bet he was just out of money, and then Trump was like, we're gonna build a wall, and he was and, like, and then he, he slewed down a fire pole, and yes. <laughs> or his own dick. In his head, dum 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 money. Uh, so Roger Waters got a big ninety-year-old cock. He's got a giant baton in his pants, or he's so vain that he puts like a flashlight down there because it's important. Maybe that's like a holdover from '60s rock. He's like, well, you got to do it. Everybody does it. Yeah, yeah I mean, you got to stuff, pe- ladies. Pe- people did stuff. He yeah. might have. He might. He might be an old school stuffer. Yeah, he's probably not even thinking about it. It's like you know. We should have him on the show and find out whether. He, what, pardon? You know people that are on tour with him. Can you All right, can well, you text him right now and find out how big his dick is? All right. I've got a little black book with my poems in it. Got a bag, got a toothbrush, and a comb. Stephen Nicks. Hmm. All right. That was uh, some stuff I talked about at that weird show we did last week at that freaky Chris Hardwick uh, cult meeting uh, yeah. that we went to. In that the was middle weird. Of, yeah, of... We, we met out in the woods, and uh, 90% of the crowd was dressed as stormtroopers or me-seeks. It was pretty wild. I'll go wherever Hardwick tells me to go. It's, it's called the patriarchy. Look it up. Like, uh, <laughs> It's 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 his 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 he's a hard wick. I would I would go if if he was if he was a soft wick. I would I would listen to him ten percent less. And uh, if he had no wick at all, f- nope, can't be president. Uh, oh, not funny. To, uh, okay, <laughs> too true. Okay, 
just a little, it started out as simple wordplay and penis jokes turned into a, a, a negatively resonant uh, late motif for the ladies and the men that support them. It wasn't like there was a bunch of guys going, ha, 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 women can't be president. We got, we got a lot of enlightened people here. I'm sorry I hurt you. You're probably very excited then about that, uh, the, um, the fact that the 25th Amendment is now going to be invoked because he tweeted a meme uh, with a CNN thing on it. Oh, yeah? We're all just so, like, fucking, we're like, no, it's not, what are you talking, just stop. I think this, is, this was, like, the big turning point. Like, I saw people on Twitter being, like, even saying to guys I really like, like Keith Olbermann and stuff, they were just going, like, like Keith Olbermann going, look, this is it. They tweeted a meme with a CNN and is a wrestler hitting him, and we got we must now for the seven hundredth time, we must do something about this man. And then just like a couple people tweeting like, this is just a like a sideshow now. Like I don't even want to do this anymore. Like this thing where we pretend like you can stop the Antichrist. Like it's not. Let's just enjoy it. It's biblical. Let's just enjoy it. I think. I think. And I, I, it's 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 not a cheery thought, but I was thinking today when I, I, I had the same reaction to that. It's like, like we're gonna look back fondly on today, like on these days, because he's not a professional tyrant. The next president's going to be worse than him. He he he's a clown. It's going to get worse. We're not gonna go like, oh, this is the dark ages, and we're gonna have an awesome president next time. It's going to get sadder and worse. But the next people are gonna be pros, not not winging it and not being you know like. Like just crappy, you know, WWF characters, you know. Well, it's like this monkey got loose on the Paramount lot, and and like everyone's chasing it and going, "Get back here, Bobo!" and 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 but Bobo like is running into sound stages and like turning on cameras and putting on a hat and like getting a two point rating, you know, like. And, and, and so everyone that's everyone chasing him or cheering him on is all going, ha, that crazy monkey, shit, you can do that? Yeah. Like, the, it's like the monkey doesn't even know what it's doing. Like it's running into edit bays and like pressing buttons that make just like champagne and coke come out of a, a big sliding wall that was hidden from the Robert Evans era. And like, everyone's like, okay, noted there too. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so, 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 if you have more than a 90 IQ plus choose fascism, you could really get some shit done in this country. Whereas he's just going like, <laughs> I got lonely, I'm lonely, so, and, 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 and like, he went throughout his life, like, he was a, he was a, he was this, the son of a fucking slumlord with a trust fund, he blew through it, and then one day, he tried, he was a Democrat, and he tried to get rich people to like him, and rich people were like, you're tacky, you're gross. Like, you're creepy. I heard you fucked a 13-year-old. Get out of here. And then, and he's like, duh, those are allegations. And like, it means, it's, you know, I don't have those allegations against me. <laughs> I don't want the system to work that way, but I just think that you shouldn't have 13-year-olds accusing you of fucking them. All right, so... The the the, the 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 just Google it and like let's figure it out. I don't know if this, he had like a preteen model agency. Like who has that? I, I, but he was like so he's like you know he's like doing high society and like like hey I'm 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 a big I'm a big rich guy and I want to hang out with the Baldwins and the and the things and the and, and they're you know and they're just he's just kind of a joke and then he's just like getting older and older and then he's like. And then, he's, and then he's like, so he's like, well, what, so who, who in this world that's left, like, would ever just give me what Howard Stern was giving me, what the television show was giving me, other thing? And, and it's just like, ugh, you know, the the the, the P.T. Barnum like 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 uh, the devil character from uh, uh, Needful Things was like, well, uh, I got the bin over here. I just, we just just hillbilly Nazis would would love you. <laughs> Are you sure about that? That doesn't seem like a big fit to me. It sounds like a great sitcom. <laughs> like, 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 no, no, they're pretty easy. Here, put on this trucker cap and just start saying I'm tired of brown people. Like, like, it'll catch on. Believe me, we're, it's, 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 we're, we're rife for it. And he's like, okay, I'll try it. And it fucking worked, and I'm going to kill myself. All right. <sighs> but, uh, yeah. I was just thinking, you know, it's like, you know, the people are like, oh, Oh, look at it. Uh, this is it. This is a deal breaker with the wrestling thing that he tweeted. Cause it, but it was like so sad when people are like, because it's violent imagery. Is he promoting violence against journalists? Like, well, don't play into that fucking... He's promoting violence against good 
Photoshop or After Effects. That was pretty crude. Yeah, and the guy that did it, you know, and then everyone's like, well, look at the last uh, thing this guy did, and it's like some Nazi shit about how everyone in CNN's a Jew or whatever. And then, uh, the, um, the, See, and it's there like, I agree. I agree with him on that one. You agree that everyone at CNN's a Jew? I'm just kidding. I don't, but according to his chart, I mean, if you only go by that, I don't have any other data. Uh, <laughs> The, the, it's, it's, it seemed like it was scientific. I, I, the, the, um, the, but it was like, 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 decrying that, I feel like it was like, actually, didn't you kind of feel like when he, when he does something crazy, then it's like, you kind of feel like, I don't know, what am I measuring it by? But it's just kind of like the Twitter zeitgeist. Like you see, a, you, I feel like you see a little spike in people going like, all right, come on, man, knock it off. Get off Twitter. Like people that voted for him going like, come on, you're embarrassing me. You know? <laughs> But, 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 but then the more that we go, that's right, he's embarrassing you. And technically, he's in violation of political correctness because that's actual racism if you look it up. And then, and then the person that was like, you're embarrassing me, goes, oh, yeah, I remember why I voted for you. Like, like, I, cause I feel stupid and barbaric and I'm tired of feeling that way. So instead of improving myself, I pulled a lever that, you know, said I would have to, I could put that off for four years. Uh, <laughs> But that's us too. We're all lazy. We're all we're, none of us are out there doing fucking mental crunches, like trying to figure out how to be good people. I, I've only gotten to the point where I'm like, I'm just like, oh, I was wrong about everything my entire life. That's possible even when you're a genius. <laughs> so what hope do we have for morons? How, what, how are they going to flip? Like, what are we going to like? Is there going to be an obelisk outside of? Uh, Fucking uh, trailer park and like like everyone that caused this problem is gonna like hear this high pitched whine and touch it and then throw a fucking uh, spray 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 can <laughs> spray paint can in the air that turns into a a, 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 a job at a solar uh, a panel factory. I want you to never stop this metaphor. I want this to go on <laughs> for the rest of the show. I want that to be a scene in a Kubrick movie. I mean, what do we think we're going to do? We're waiting. We're, we're in a civil war culturally. We're, we're, and, and believe me, there's just as many dumb people on both sides. Like, and laziness and, like, adds to dumbness. And it's like, at this point, we're at this, like, impasse or something. And impasses don't get, they don't just sit there. Like, we used to think we were at an impasse, but what we were really in was, like, the reign of the bipartisan system, which I used to sit there and scoff at, but we didn't know how good we had it. And it was like, oh, I want my corruption back. I want my bureaucracy back. I want my, like, I want my fucking transparent collusion between two corporations that just rig debates and fucking just hang out back like like and, and it's like okay so that system wasn't working for other people so I'm guilty of these crimes right but then again I didn't inherit my fucking money I worked for it and see okay now I sound Republican like like so so so, so like I, 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 what 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 woo, 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 woo. <laughs> uh, all right <laughs> hit pause hold up Somebody, one of our fans, go online, make that a remix. <laughs> whistle tip, whistle tip, go whoop, 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 whoop. But that, that was like the EDM kind of thing. Uh, Hi, it's Jeff Davis and Spencer Crittenden uh, here to talk to you about HelloFresh. Uh, Spencer's busy right now trying to pick a piece of cake off of his pants. Oh, who's in this room recording what ads? Oh, no. It's me, Lumpkins, the HelloFresh gnome. Lumpkins? Right. How have you been? I haven't heard from you in a while. Eh, yeah, you know, over at HelloFresh, we've been doing bold new things and home dining experiences. Would you tell me all about it while I sit back and enjoy you? Right, of course. HelloFresh is the meal kit delivery service that makes cooking more fun so you can focus on the whole experience and not just the final plate. Whoops, hide me. Hey, hey. Is there, is anyone in here? I thought I heard a high-pitched voice. Spencer, your arch nemesis Lumpkins was here just a moment ago. You know he's after my lucky charms. <laughs> really? No. Is it, he's also after copyright infringement. Yeah, that's a good point. Spencer, Lumpkins was just in the middle of, of explaining what HelloFresh is. Can you, uh, can you expound? Each week, HelloFresh creates delicious new recipes with step-by-step -step instructions designed to take around 30 minutes for everyone from novices to seasoned home cooks shortened on time to crazy gnomes after me, uh, various items. They use the freshest ingredients measured to the exact quantities needed so there's no food waste, and uh, it comes to your doorstep in a recyclable, insulated box for free. Right. You so get a free a box. box. I mean, I... I 
I, I know people that go to HelloFresh just for the free box. I mean, the it fact actually, that it's filled with delicious farm-to-table food is, a, is a, just an added bonus. Right. The box is at least a $10 value, I'd say. But it turns out it's less than $10 a meal with HelloFresh. What? And they employ two full-time registered dietitians on staff who review each recipe to ensure it's nutritionally balanced. Now, Jeff, you seem to understand a lot about this for a guy who wanted me to explain it to him. I'd love to tell you all about my wonderful experience with HelloFresh the food delivery service that brings you a kit of food that you can cook and make it on your own, and it's only $10 a meal. But here's the deal. They've never given me any. Right. I think uh, they sent them to Dan Harmon. I actually ended up eating some of the food out of it because Dan doesn't really cook at home so much. Now, Dan's just like a grizzly bear. He probably just ate right through the box and didn't even cook the food. Well, you'd be surprised because it turns out it was easy enough for even a novice like him to prepare in 30 minutes or less. So He's he had really, really lazy, though. you telling me that he opened up boxes and put things in pans? Hey! can use HelloFresh to success in the dinner table. Even tiny spirits like you? Even tiny sprightly gnomes and other elfin creatures from woodlands. Do you get the same size meal, Lumpkins? Because you're you're so diminutive in, in size. I do, but they last much, much longer, so I save money. Wow, you're beating the system, Lumpkins. I'm a hero. For $30 off your first week of HelloFresh, visit HelloFresh.com and enter the code HarmonTown30, HarmonTown30, to get $30 off your first week of HelloFresh. The, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, well, that's what, it's not an impasse. That's the thing. Okay, so here's why. You kids, when, when, when the, when, when, when grandpa, when grandpa that made Rick and Morty and it's, oh, it's such a bummer. Why is he such a cuck? Like, like, what? <laughs> What, what are you doing? Why are you talking about politics? Why you make this great cartoon that's like, oh, it speaks to, 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 to the very heart of my uh, alt-right or, or Bernie Kratt or Hillary-loving or Trump-loving ass. Yeah, because I'm a genius, and it's called resonant storytelling and timeless character craftsmanship and, and, and Justin Roiland's coattails, and it's... <laughs> There's a delicate recipe also, that a lot only of, I know. A lot of the background art looks like dicks, balls, and vaginas. <laughs> but uh, when, you're, when you're all bummed out, like, oh, why are you, oh, you used to be so fun. I'm sure that's not true, first of all. I'm sure, <laughs> I don't remember, but I don't think I was like a laugh a minute when I was not political. I, I, I was probably just gross or something. I was probably just going like, is it me or bananas uh, uh, d- 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 f- fitting in your ass wrong or something? I, that sounds fun. I, 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 I couldn't riff at a thing. I didn't want to like... But, but like, like, like which, you got, which end is the wrong end of the banana to put in your ass first, do you think? The banana is the atheist's worst nightmare. Google it. Uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, like, when you're all bummed out and you're going, like, Dan, what is politics? They, see, here's why you're doing that. Here's why you're thinking that. And I understand this because you're, you're younger than me, and, so, and it's, I'm not it's implying that when you get older, you know more. I'm saying, like, I've lived longer. So if you've lived longer, so imagine like you're listening to a uh, a 10 minute uh, song, okay? And so, and you you walk into the room and it's been playing for eight minutes, but now you're hearing your first minute of it. If if the people that have been in that room longer are saying, I think this song is ending, listen to them. They have gotten more of a feel for it. It doesn't, it's not so much like, oh, you're so much smarter, your IQ keeps growing. Saying, this doesn't happen. I think everyone keeps saying that. I'm like, it's like, I know the difference between like, oh, the dangling chads and the abortion arguments and the gays in the military and the Republican Democrat and just out and out like, we're 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 having a tr- little bit of a tr- problem here that has really actually nothing to do with what we used to call politics because that word has for 44 years has to me has meant the boring thing the grown up thing the p- the part of the scam part of the thing but politics now it's like actually like I mean, there's only once this stops being the case where everyone's like all freaked out like. It's not the, the the it's gonna be like peop, you're gonna be wearing like jumpsuits and stuff, and we're gonna be like walking in like stainless steel honeycombs, like uh, deep beneath a Mars station, and they're gonna be being. T- well, I'm now making it sound cool. <laughs> we're never gonna get to Mars because and, because whoever comes after Trump is gonna be like is gonna win by opposing gravity, like as a and people are gonna be like, yo, why why are you libtards always talking about how there's gravity if you? want to get to space. 
Can't you see how stupid that is? Oh, uh, here's, the, here's, a, here's a meme of a gorilla going, hmm, I want to go into space. I think I'll say that nothing uh, uh, can go up forever. S -s that's you. Because the, because the world will be an ocean and there won't, there, that, there, there'll be, well, okay, well, we were wrong. Yeah, okay, we were wrong about the polar ice caps, you know, but what's, what is this gravity you're always talking about? I say if you're, if you're poor and you want to get into space, just jump. If you believe in yourself, you should be able to fly. Uh, well, technically, you know. No, no egghead. You fucking sell out, you traitor. Jew? I know it. I haven't checked my chart yet. But you got that fucking Jurassic Park vibe. Wh which character? Which, which character? G Goldblum? Yeah, the, the Stegosaurus. <laughs> you better wake up, motherfucker. Did you see that fucking holy shit in a bottle? Did you see that NRA video that was like, whoa, yeah, see, it's, it's over. Like, 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 not over, like, like, I mean, you over, like, no, yeah, that, like, school's out. Like, 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 they're saying, like, it's over. Everybody get, do what you gotta do. So, like, that, 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 that's that, a cue for activists. That, to, that video was like what's playing on a TV in the background in RoboCop 2. Like when you, when you, <laughs> yeah, so much far beyond that. It was, it was crazy. Because, and here's the craziest thing about that video to me. When those guys, like, there's a, there's a, when, 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 a, when someone goes into a school and shoots like 20 people, and then their response is, <sighs> well, I'll tell you this much. If, if the teachers had guns, they would have, they, they would only be 10, uh, but yeah, okay, all right, okay. So everybody has, everybody should have had a gun. Okay, all right. Well, for a second there without, no, yeah, everybody should have a gun. Okay, got it. I get it. I get it. There's almost an honesty there. Like, I don't know if they believe it or not, but their message is transparent. They're going, oh, 20 kids got shot, so everyone should have a gun. There is no hidden agenda. That video, they're saying, they're pretending that they think that because police can't quell disruption enough on their own without causing more of it, that if there's any psychos out there with their ears on, you might want to just start DIYing it. That might actually work. That's the unspoken implication is like, you should, you should jump in because the government's hands are tied. They're cucked out, man. Like, like they're, they gotta, they gotta do these Mirandas and all these things. And well, and then if the minute they poke some of the stick, if they're wearing a badge, then there's more protests. It's like, it's crazy. So, you know, and then they end it with like, now more than ever, you gotta just like, you gotta fucking hit. So what they're, so, it's like they're saying to their base, like, if you're out of your goddamn mind and you pop off, uh, it could be the solution. And they know that that's not true. They know that that person will go to prison and they know there will be even more dis uh, disruption and, 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 and embroilment <laughs> and civil war and stuff. And they, I, I, I mean, I, they, just like, like, it's almost admirable in its villainy. I mean, they're so committed. Like, I'm pretty sure like they're about six months from going, okay, now we've been putting this off for 60 years. We're finally gonna like put one foot on each dolphin here and we're gonna start being actively marketing to liberals as well. Because they're going to they're gonna have another video come up and go, man, it's open season on you motherfuckers. It's like you can't go to a protest these days without worrying about who's going to shoot you, am I right? Well, they already did that. You bought a gun. Uh, they already did it to me. It's, that's, yeah. that's, that's, the, that's called white male fragility, not white male endurance. I'm, I'm not going to be the last person to buy a gun. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm like that little mercury thing that explodes when something gets a little too hot because uh, uh, there's a fire. But you're like, well, you haven't even have you, tried, have you shot it yet? Have you? Taken Why would it? I? I didn't get it to shoot it. I got it to wait till someone shoots me. Yeah, but you're gonna get it. <laughs> so, someone's gonna come on your doorstep with a burning pitchfork, and because uh, that's the thing. <laughs> You think pitchforks are dangerous? <laughs> when you light the tips of the pitchfork on fire, oh you, my God. you got a real, a real problem on your hands. Yeah, I mean, it's, in, in ancient times, uh, <laughs> angry mobs needed torches and pitchforks. It was a mess. Yeah, and then uh, it took us like, why did it take us so long? It, it was, oh, I think it was Eli Whitney yeah. who found out that if you combine fire and the pitchfork, 
You get a flaming trident, the yeah. ultimate angry mob and, facilitator. And if you can combine that with riding two dolphins at the same time, you're, yeah. you, you might be the most terrifying individual <laughs> in mythology. You, you, you're certainly not a redneck, that's for sure. <laughs> Uh, if you were pitchforks on fire <laughs> and you can still ride if two you're dolphins. Riding on two dolphins and the way you express your your frustration with the ruling class or a monster is a flaming trident. You're probably not a redneck. You're probably not a redneck. You might be like <laughs> yeah. Prince Namor, I don't know. Yes. You might be from like Mount Olympus. Yeah. Uh, but did you notice that Jump the Shark, that invention, Angry Mobs, they just stopped. They, you, know, you, never, you never see the flaming trident uh, used in an Angry Mobbery. Well, Egypt kind of did it. Like the, uh, the uh, Arab Spring kind of thing. They, didn't, they, 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 they went full on like this is Angry Mob shit. They went stormed the Bastille. Did they have flaming like, tridents? I don't, I mean, they probably have the modern equivalent of that. All right. Well, we'll get back to that. Uh, Wait, what were we I'm just saying, about? but you, you're gonna you're gonna wait until somebody comes up at, at your place with a weapon to take your dog or, t- or, or, or or something, and then you're gonna pick up your gun like Woody Allen is gonna fly apart because you don't know how to use it. You've never like you have to. Go I've already field stripped it and cleaned it and put it back together. What I don't know how to do is get the little the rockets inside the clippy thing. <laughs> I can't. I can get one in, and then I'm like, really? This, it's this? You have to push this hard? Isn't I'm pretty it going to sure shoot? It's going to shoot! I'm pretty sure you can, go in, you can go on Google and type in how to put rockets and clippy bits, and you'll... I'm scared to load the magazine, because also it's like, that's, you know, now you're actually loading a gun in your house. I haven't gotten that far yet. I just put, I, but I was like, I wonder if I no, know you how do, to... It takes some thumb strength to get those, uh, yeah, get those fuckers I gotta, in there. I got to get these little bad boys ready for the revolution. <laughs> Yeah, look, man, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not a role model. (laughs) I got two dogs and a girlfriend, and I live on a big house on a hill with a lot of fresh water in it. I got a gun. I got a hammer in case a nail comes loose. You just told however many people that listen to our podcast that you don't know how to load it. So it's, it's not really... I don't know what kind of security level you think you're at right now. I don't know. Maybe I'm all the way past into the world where I'm setting traps. Have, have you ever? Maybe find... I'm like Jigsaw. Maybe I'm like playing like lame, 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 wounded duck or whatever you call Spencer, it. Spencer, have you have you fired a weapon before? Have you fired a gun? Uh, I feel like when I was a kid, I fired a gun in a like a camping trip or something. Mm. How much fresh water did you say was in your house, Dan? <laughs> Look, you don't need a gun if you want to take my water. I just want an estimate of how much fresh water you think you have on your property. I keep forgetting to cancel my sparklets uh, or my arrowhead delivery because I go out of town on all these shows all the time. So I've got, I have a gigantic pyramid of, of bottles of water. So the I real have, fresh water is I, 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 I have all house. the water. I felt like I used to have that, but I, I got these cameras installed because I'm Batman. And, and, uh, and now that I got the camera, I swear I thought I saw... A uh, putty chat. I thought. I thought. I thought. I saw. I, uh, Google it. It's a great. Uh, the, 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 I, I thought. I could swear. I saw the sparklets guy or whatever you call him now. The Nestle Mobile Oil guy. Whatever. Fucking. Uh, the, the Pentagon uh, Ministry of of, of drinkables. Uh, Centaurian. Brought brought a five g- g- gallon drum of of, of water. And, uh, and I was watching him on the camera, like Phil Spector, just like playing with my gun and just watching him. Because <laughs> he had kind of a Cuban vibe. Uh, and I swear, it was like he came up and then the, 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 I, saw, I thought he left with water. He took my water. I think they take it now. He might take empty ones? He take, no, he was like, it was, it was heavy. Like he was like, oh. This water I brought up, I don't. I think he took my water. I don't know what happened. I don't. So I don't know why I should. Maybe he brought too many, and then I was like, "Oh, I gotta take this back." I, I gotta remember to call them. I, I, I canceled it for I forget how many months because I've got nine thousand things of water in my place. You're not and, supposed to do Nestle, by the way. You know, if you're interested in your consumer dollars advocating, because like, boy, yeah. we're we're still at that stage. <sighs> It's Nestle's not at all like the branches of the government water. are collapsing into a fucking like murder van that's going to drive around. But but uh, 
if it was 1999 and you thought the way you spent your next water dollar would influence the totally fair capitalistic uh, biosphere in the face, the Nestle, the Nestle guy, like he's on record as saying in interviews, like, yeah, I don't get it. I don't understand why water is considered a natural resource. That doesn't make any sense. It's a product. Everybody buys it. You need it. You drink it. it looks like a candy bar. They also, so, they're also like, they're trying to buy up all this water that's like cheap, that's like reservoirs and stuff, and they're getting these crazy deals for it, and they're just, they're going to profit off of it, but the water they're buying is so cheap, it's like you could start a Kickstarter and buy the water for like cheaper than them, except, you know, we're not corporations, so we don't have access to these markets, but it's like, we could buy that water that we don't want necessarily to buy from us, but, you know, they won't let us do it. It's fucked up. Got to put all your money into Arrowhead. They're a Native American tribe <laughs> that uh, makes their own water out of uh, out of rain. the Trail of Tears. Out yeah. Of, <laughs> <laughs> they also make salt. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't think of that because I would have said it. <laughs> okay. What? 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 Uh, what, what is that? Can we, can we hear can Sam Elliott's the... commercial for the fully croisoned? Uh... Hello, I'm Sam Elliott for Arrowhead Water. <laughs> you know our water's salty, and here's a reason why. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Jackson. No. no. <laughs> uh, that Eighty percent a... of your body can't be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's just general water advertising. I don't know. It's not for Trail of Tears. The Trail of Tears was, of course, a horrible thing that would be totally offensive. But but uh, but we made it delightful, just right. Now. Well, also there's it's like it, it's we we you, the history's written by the winners, and there's not you know it's, we're not we're not afraid of the. I'm, that's my apology to anyone who is listening. That's like that. That's a little hurtful. I'm like I'm sorry. Like. <laughs> You also, know, like, 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 because it's just, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be a numbers game, like, you know, like, like, what's offensive, you know, it shouldn't be like, oh, that group isn't, like, gonna million man march well, us, I mean, so, or, you, you know. You, you recently made a, I thought I'd tell a putty tat reference, they don't think you're current. <laughs> but you, 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 you're, oh, a, you're a baby yeah. boomer, you, you, you still, you know, you, you're still allowed. <laughs> so, why is it now... Just Dan. hear those sleigh bells tingling, ring, ting, tingling, too. Dan's got ice stuck to his what, what, bottle. I've He's never seen that much ice stick cup. to anything. <laughs> it's. Well, let's, should we bring up our. Let's bring up two of our friends so we can. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's bring up Abed Gaith and Kelly Fontecchio. Yeah. yeah Kelly. Kelly and Abed. But oh Hello. my God! Look at that, Kali Kazoo and what Real Abed too. It's a double whammy. There's a cloud underneath this crazy. What the <laughs> it's fuck? It's a cloud of going? ice. A cloud of ice. Did you Did not notice Kelly? that? I was, when I was you're focused sitting? on the Fontecchio, and I was like, "You I'm got gonna, the last I'm thing right, which is a Fontecchio. big, like a big, uh, a you know, that's you a big mind, achievement." Dude. I've never said your last name. <laughs> Thank you. You said it correctly. He, he said it now, just now. Yeah. Right? yeah. Were you I named? Mean, we, we're both. We both have unpronounceable names. Were you named after Kali, like the yeah, the god of destruction? Or whatever. Goddess of death. Always yeah, yeah. shake his hand when I come up. Okay. There right. you go. Well, Sorry, I had to do that. Glad we didn't it's miss that moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like two seconds. No, it was important. Very important. I did it every time I, I came up here. So. As including I now. Keep the tradition going. Eat that mic. All right. Thanks. Right here. Callie, you're looking very smart with your fuzzy uh, Simpsons bag. There. Thank you. you. It's a uh, Soma and uh, Patty. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. My favorite part is their unshaved legs. Selma yeah, and Patty. Did, did, did you, Patty and Zelma. Did you purchase this, or is this something you created? Oh, no, I purchased this. Yeah. It's a purse slash pillow. <laughs> I guess when you pass out at parties, you need that. 
Because then you can just use a pillow that isn't there. Tell me There's never a, p- a pillow. I passed out at a party recently. No oh, pillow. Oh, boy. I remember you talked to a guy who passed out at a party, but you didn't care. It was that's Ron, a famous oh, yeah, that was story. Ron Hassler. Oh, my God. That's that's just story. Gonna, I mean, that story's sure never going that. away. It's, led, it's like the OK Corral. Or like, it's like you shot a, a match off a buffalo's back or something. It was like, <laughs> why like, the fuck like, does that story keep coming up all the time? I'll tell you why yeah. by telling you the story. You... <laughs> It, it, it was a Halloween party, or no, it was a wizard party, and you yeah. and everybody and was it came wizard, dressed. Is it where me and Justin everyone came dressed as like actual wizards, like cone hats, like moons and stars and wands and stuff and, uh, like that. And me and Justin, we just went to a thrift store and found random shit, and then he was the wizard of cell phone technology, <laughs> and I was the wizard of the past or something. So, I had like an Indian outfit, I mean a Native American outfit. Oh shit, sorry. So the party's winding down, people are getting kind of high, there's like maybe nine people, we're tired, we're just, there's just a bunch of out of shape wizards like sitting in this kind of like main area Because it was party. a full, it was a full it on was, wizard dance party, it was just was wizards like, just dancing. Yeah dude, it was fun man, I had a great time. A I of, love seeing wizards All of parties. our mana has worn down, we're regenerating it. Uh, and, uh, and we're just talking, and, and at some point somebody goes like, alright, I'm going to keep talking to you like this. Because I don't want to make a big deal out of it, but I want you <laughs> to, at some point, look over <laughs> to the other room where... It was Rob, wasn't it? Where Abed is sitting in a director chair, like, next to uh, our friend Rod Hasler, who is also sitting in a director's chair, only, like, at that point, like, Rod, he's like, like watch, Abed is talking to Rod, and Rod, excuse me, Rod is just, he's falling asleep. Like, he's not all the way asleep. But, but like, he keeps, his head keeps, like, like, it's all, like, if you were talking to somebody and you, and they were, and they went like that. He was slightly awake. Like, wouldn't you? I mean, was, you would, you would at some point. Maybe it's, it's, he's a bad listener. And, but, 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 the, but that's where heroism comes in. Like, but, at, my, like, but by the time that that passed around to me, and like, everybody just look over there. Don't make a big deal. And I looked over, and Rod was completely comatose. It kept getting funnier and funnier. It says his head was dangling like an apple on an old Well, that's my fault. The story tree. got like, his more boring. His head was like parallel yeah. to the, the floor. Getting, like, there was no mistaking this man for conscious. Like, I, I went but, to work stories. And, and also, there was. There was a point because you were talking and like everyone was watching you, but we couldn't quite hear what you were saying. But there was a point where you were, you were, it was, his head was just dangling over the arm of the chair, and 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 we were, and as we were all watching you, and then at a certain point, you 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 reacted to him as if he had like interrupted you or something. I, I think you kind of like, or like he had made a, a a good point that allowed you to to to, to well, that's well, a different like matter. He, he was listening, but he slightly uh, zoned out. Like I right, like maybe he snored or something, and yeah. you're like, well, speaking of that, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I, I thought he was still awake. So then he did some motion that I'm like, y- you. How you could you? Saying. What in the yeah. weekend at Bernie's? Were you talking like, about Farscape? <laughs> no, I was talking about. Well, we worked together at the time on Mansers, and I was saying stuff like, "Do, do people at work like me? Am, am I annoying?" <laughs> and I, I think like I was trying to get validation that people liked me at work, so I, I was like confused because they treated me weird there. So I'm like, hey, "Come on, they like me, right?" And I think he phased out at a certain point. <laughs> but I was so, in, in, I was so. Uh, passionate about what I was talking about that I didn't notice he passed out. So, yeah, you guys saw that. You saw me, I, I mean, he was awake two seconds ago. Yeah. And then in those two seconds, he fell asleep. Well, thank you for saying the words pass out so that we could all remember to mock yeah. you for that same thing oh, from okay. like 11 years ago. <laughs> Look, I, it was weird because you guys looked over at the right comedic moment where it was funny. No, for no, me. we were watching you for 45 minutes. Like, <laughs> there was no, it wasn't a window. Uh, oh, we got, I got it just the right time. Like, planet Earth. Like, oh, man, that, no, that orca we, just leapt up. For real, uh, we, yeah. we, we, we were all playing it cool, but marveling. Like, <laughs> you you kind of had your head down and you were making a point about Ben Folds 5 or something. <laughs> and so, with some record, or whatever, and, and he was completely oh, yeah. oh, dead. Was a, you were trying to a, a corpse, and, and, and we're like, you're like wait, he's in heaven right now. Oh, man, I'm so embarrassed. I mean, because the weird thing is, later when you guys said you were watching the whole time, I was like, I didn't remember. It's yeah. like I, I did talk to him, but I mean, we I were all we were asleep. It was the end of a very long drunken party, so right, everybody right. gets a pass on that one. But it was it was it was delightful. It sounds like we're making fun of you. It, it was it kind it's, of it's, it's, well, not, for you guys. It was delightful. I mean, I don't. I was like, no, oh, but yeah, it, it, it was almost like watching a, a superhero. 
Like, 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 like you, you, you. Well, that's weird. I mean, we make fun of like, like I look. I was thinking. About I can it. talk to people while they sleep. I'm a superhero. I, I like, I, I was because I'm writing this treatment and there's this character and the thing that the uh, Mike McMahon and I are talking about and like we're we're talking about the character and we're like, oh, he's a he's a character that's kind of deluded himself and like and then we we're talking about that and uh, and then we're it was like we we it was like we. We, we, I started. To, I was like, I was like, wait, yeah, you know, it's like, it's like he's living in his dreams. He's living as this character. He's living in his dreams, and as, as a, but, and it's like a, it's a fine line between that and living a lie. And I think the the, the difference is. Well, what are you making other people lie? And if they say that you're lying, do you get mad at them? And I was like, oh, that's, I think that we would all admit if the stakes weren't so high that there is this half of our president or 25% that was like, like, like we're, we kind of marvel at his absolute fucking like, like, uh, dead nerved, like, just like, like the idea of it's it's funny and almost cool from a writer's perspective. A character that if you said, "Can you pass the salt?" they would say, "Yes, I will do the best job of passing salt that of anyone that's ever passed you salt." D did it? Ask around. I passed oh, the man. salt the best. You, you see me like, as a character, don't you? Like, you are like, a character. Are oh you kidding God. me? No, 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 I'm not talking about you, you narcissist. No, I, no, I, I understand. I understand. I'm just. Trying I'm just to saying, like, I'm saying, like, laser into what you're with, saying. With with him, it's like when we when we talk about that aspect of him. If you could just isolate it, if you could just like suck that little bit of juice, like like we're, we're envious of that because it's wait, called like wait, it's this like is thinking like a positively. Meeting you had with, with Mike McMahon. <sighs> Yeah. You were like, we can't figure out Ovid. What's the deal with him? No, no, he, no, no. How does he function? No, I was just, it was a related thing. Oh, I see. And, and so well, I'm tying it back I'm, to I'm going to bring it back around to you. Maybe I am the narcissist. I'm bringing right, it yeah. back around to you. You're, I am pretty narcissist. Thank you. You just brought it out. You're, I'm just saying like. You're doing the, what you got to do. All of us have maybe blind spots. Or I'm not going to try to universalize it. I'm saying like you, you, you could talk to a guy who is like catatonic. It's like, we're making fun of you for it. I see. But like there's also like. Like it's it's I'm trying to learn that from this like this this like you know troglodyte that we've 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 uh, you know chosen to to celebrate our demise as a as a culture not you the, the, the president oh, I, uh, I know I'm the, I'm, the, 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 I'm trying I'm trying to like I'm trying to like see the see I'm like I'm like what, what, come on, what do you admire here, about yeah. him like what, and and why is he so and how come you what did you watch like Huckabee like get away with it or not get away with it like he you can see like <laughs> Huckabee on Twitter trying to like all right, I guess I guess the market's prime for an old man to well, be kind of a turn. kind of here a goofball go. on Twitter, it's and the you're Huckabee just like, no, nah, you're the worst. I'm running in here. <laughs> Whatever, Abed. I, 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 no, I'm, I'm with you. I'm trying to give I, you yeah. between my Dan explaining your Abedness, like, and you being <laughs> Abed during it. It's like we're we, the audience is like we've it's a black hole. We're gonna know, die. Yeah. No, but you guys, <laughs> my, my wristwatch turned into show. legs. You, you got you guys show. are doing your own show that's gonna be happening. Uh, we are NBC. On no, <laughs> here. On the, on the on the sixth, right? In a couple of days. Yeah, uh, Starburns Castle. Yeah, this is what you'll see. You'll this see. it's our second yeah. ever show. Our first one went off really well, like a good turnout. And our, our guest was Rich Fulter last month, and this month oh, yeah. it's Martin Olson, who you might know Ooh. from uh, Adventure Time or Rocco's yeah. Modern Life, or quite, all sorts quite of guys. Quite a guy. Yeah, yeah. And we uh, did a skit with him before, where he was your dad, and I'm asking for a date. And then he beats the shit out of me. No, he strangles me. What does he do? I don't know. <laughs> He's a good guy. You, got, you guys ever go to Disneyland and, and go to Mickey's house in Toontown? You wait and you meet Mickey Mouse? <laughs> I just did that for the first time with my girlfriend. And uh, we, we, as you're waiting in line there, there's these awesome cartoons that are old, like vintage-looking Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse things. And that's Callie. She made those things. <laughs> well, I, d I designed the. C I did a bunch of designs. Uh, there was a whole team of people. But the design, is, <laughs> the, the design is the whole point. It's like beautifully, uh, beautifully designed. It's like some of the coolest animation I've, I've seen you. in a very long time. It's like. Did you know it was her when you saw it, or you? Well, were... I, I remember seeing clips of like stuff that you've posted online. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I was watching it with Church, and I was, yeah, like, I was like, Oh, this is the, this is the thing that Callie worked on. Yeah. It's, it's it's like like old vintage black and white. Disney meets like Ren and Stimpy meets like uh, the triplets yeah, yeah. of Belleville. Like it's really <laughs> cool. It's, 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 so yeah, like, the background team especially are like yeah. super super amazing. Is that yeah. Andy Andy Suriano? Yeah, yeah, Andy oh, Suriano, yeah, yeah. who's great. doing He's Ninja great. Turtles now. Great guy, great guy. What he looks like Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose I'm a young Burbank uh, hipster. <laughs> 
just you just be- described me and Spencer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I could, you could pass for that, dude. The beard really does that. Well, sell that. You, continue your thought. What, a, what a, what's, why should I come to wh- whatever your show's called, oh. which you should now tell us? Well, right. that's because oh, it's not filmed. Wait, so, so to go back to the egotistical thing, it's called oh. What About Me? Which is about uh, us going, well, what about me? Yeah, so every time someone ends a sentence, we're like, well, what about me? Like, I'm important, too. But, like, uh... No, the the birth of the show was that I was frustrated with Hollywood. Yeah. And I wanted to write and get people to see my comedy. So I was like, I'll just do a show and, you know, make it with my friend who does great music. Yeah, so it's like it's a true variety show. Yeah, there's, we'll just there's what was the, what was the most frustrating thing about Hollywood for you? <laughs> uh, well, it, 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 there's a lot of things, but mainly like I've pitched and I've. Oh, okay, also, you right, might okay, know okay. Abed. Anyway. Some, he he wrote a little bit on Rick and Morty. He worked on the uh, commercial episodes. Yeah. What are oh, those? that's right. Yeah, yeah. The, I, and I had a hundred ideas, and they picked. Five. It was the la- it was the lack of you that frustrated you about Hollywood. You're, oh yeah. You're like wait, no, no, why not am I not in me, there? That the fact that I think I'm as good as as Johnny Two Two Tones over there. There, who's he's he's like you know I watch his career just spiraling out of control and I'm like Johnny yeah, I can do that I, is, I can Johnny, right is Johnny, is Johnny Two Tones here tonight I don't know <laughs> I, he might be here yeah. you fucker but mother fuck you no I mean but look I I have uh, you know I feel like I can do that so I'm like let me just do a show where I can do that and no do wanna, executive is saying that stop being, that being That's in this crazy. case like a variable I can't ask you because I'm not going to start a beef between you and uh, Johnny Pemberton or whoever it is you're no you're, T-Tones no, uh, I'm, he's I, a friend actually, I'm so. saying like <laughs> we're not going to I'm not going to ask you to tell me who it is that you do think you're you could do, uh, you yeah. please Johnny don't I, yeah please don't God. but 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 oh. the, no I mean yeah, the alternative can. for anybody who wanted to come to the show but was still on the fence going like well gosh maybe I you know like the do some well like, we have a lot of good special guests uh, this month we besides Martin Olson we also have Mike McCafferty of 101 fame and Star Trek uh, podcast on the Feral Audio Network his po- Star Trek podcast is great I like the yeah, Rathacon yeah. one we were just a guest on there and uh, uh, also we will be having Becky Garcia who's an adult swim writer she writes on yeah she wrote on things. Hot Streets as of, yeah. a couple, as of a couple days ago I was in the show but then I yeah. true. <laughs> uh, Jeff Davis was our special guest I, I, I screwed up and double booked myself but so you, oh, that's cool. you we'll get you in a few months Abed you in the show Right. Like, because you can't, you could say Johnny Two Tones, I can do what he can do. Right. And we can't have you, we can't make you say, I mean Vince Vaughn. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm, so I'm asking you, what are you, what are you doing in the show that you're like, fucking come see me do my thing, I, God yeah, damn it. I'm, I'm like the Bob Odenkirk of the show. I just kind of write stuff and I act and stuff, but I don't give myself the main part because I like to be on the sides. And I like other people to... Abed's the crazy part. I, worked, I want to ext- extract their craziness in my own way. And it's fun. Yeah, no, la- it, last month we... Fulcher... Uh, well, Fulcher's... We have, there's, a, there's a sort of script that Abed writes, but he kind of just went off the rails and did... You uh, know, Fulcher really improvised brought the whole so section. much to it, and he made it way better than I wrote. So that was a great experience. Because I like working with him. Yeah. It was like we both had a talk show where we're the hosts at the same time. I saw Fulcher like in 1994, I think, for the first time at some oh, comedy, wow. comedy festival, and he came on stage. It was a show he did. I might, I might have the date wrong, but it was called Modern Problems in Science or something like that. And <laughs> they would, it was him and a couple other guys, and they would just get a theory, that they would have, that they, that, and they would get three different schools of scientific thought, and they would prove or disprove that theory. And his was Russian literature, and he clearly <laughs> didn't, didn't Sounds know. Sounds like him. He clearly had never read any Russian literature. <laughs> But committed to it so fucking hard that it was like, I, I watched it and go, that's the funniest improv I've ever seen. Well, I, I met him because I was his stand-in on Crossballs, hosted by Chris Tallman. Because yeah. you guys have a similar kind of Well, profile. I was his stand-in, and he heard about me being uh, quite a, I, I just was talking the whole time, and Matt Besser told me to shut up. And it was like really crazy like experience. And then everyone falls just like, oh, you're the guy that was my stand-in. Everyone said you were weird. Oh, yeah, you should plug your, you have a podcast with him. Yeah, I have too. a podcast with him on Feral Wait, Audio. Can you keep doing your Rich Fulcher impression? No, it's pretty no, good. Well, oh, yeah, it's really, it's just it's like really laid so back. Oh, that's okay. Like, Speaking of other superpowers, I, I don't know how this will translate to a podcast, but remember at a party one time, you can do impressions of people, but not verbally. You can just visual you can, impressions. He, he can embody you. Like yeah, he, he, yeah, I can embody he, you. Like, 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 like he'll do visual impressions of of like like do like, do, do Dan Harmon. Like, like give, give us some Dan Harmon. Well, I, I got a lot of things to say about the president. It, it's really crazy because you guys are gonna <laughs> like what I say. Okay, here we go. The, the president. I mean, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> he's, he's a little fucked up. All right. Yeah, All right. Now, now, now do me. Do, do do Jeff Davis. Oh, yeah, now, uh, uh, the thing about it is, uh, Abed, 
So you do a character like Rich Fulcher in... Uh, uh, I just gotta see it for a second. Uh, hold on. Oh, wait. Uh, all right, yeah, now do it. Do it now. <laughs> okay. Now do Ted Knight. <laughs> oh, Mary. Oh, God. Oh, Mary, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm a Ted Knight. No, oh, Mary. He, he's uh, just like saying Monroe. the name of the person. <laughs> now do, can you do Callie? Can you do a Callie? <laughs> hey, what are you doing there? Look out. We got a show to make. Get to work. What? So, so she's Minnie Mouse. I love is that, that. what I like sound Mouse, like? Yeah. Is that what well, I sound it, like? What? She's easy to do because she's a character, you know? Oh, you have to be you. a character. It's easier to do. Oh, yeah, if you really Google acting with Abed and you'll see a uh, young Jeff and a young oh, Dan. That's old. And that's it, real old. They all turn on Abed because oh, Abed's yeah. trying to teach you, yeah. you guys acting. All right. Yeah. You guys all, and Justin yeah, and Roiland yeah. and everybody. You come after me because of a real conversation we had. Right, you're, like, you. you're like, oh, uh, I'm really intimidated by you. Uh, uh. Yeah, and I told you that at Rob's house, and then Rob goes, D- don't say that. Why are you saying that to him? Right, wait, wait, do your Rob impression. Yeah, give us some Rob Shrub. Oh, uh, 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 Abed, what are you doing? No, that's more like Ridley. No, he's like, you got to talk about his shit. Yeah. Abed, you and me and Kate are going to go to this <laughs> restaurant... He's like, where's, and we're going to learn about Kate? Doctor Who, my favorite show, and you're going to like it. That's God really damn it. Wait, no, yeah, you had an old one. It was like, my name's Rob Shop, and I love taking shits. No, I know, but that was, I, I was being, I was, on, I was on camera, I was nervous, and Rob made me nervous because he was sitting there, like, just judging me with his eyes, being like, you better be funny, you motherfucker. Uh. And so, yeah, that was awkward. Can you do Spencer? Uh, hey, guys, you're, yeah. we've got to get move things along. <laughs> We nope. gotta get move things along, guys. Wait, wait, wait. I can do. I can. I, well, wait, wait, wait. I can do Spencer. Spencer's like this. I couldn't tell who did what there. That was amazing. Hey, He's how's good. it going? Well, you have to. She lives with me. It's so. true. I do Not live like with that, Spencer. Though. Or, or you live with you guys me. are roommates. Oh yeah, we're roommates. Yeah. Um, we're roommates. Uh, There's a show. Yeah, no. Is Spencer yeah. a happy roommate? He's like the best roommate I've probably ever. I would had. imagine he'd be oh, a pretty uh, good roommate. Yeah, no, I, I hope my old remains aren't listening, but really, you my are... My secret God is I spend most I of it. my life thinking I'm a terrible roommate. Seriously? Right? Yeah. I can I, see him being a good roommate. Well, okay, That's I get, like, trick. you have the most adorable cat that I get to, like, vicariously love. Yeah. Because she's got little short, stumpy legs, and she's super timid, and... And this cat has its own comedy show. She called, does. Right. Here we go. What I'm about me? What are the... <laughs> what are the... What are the... What about <laughs> meow? <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, with a, it's me. Yeah, I might have a black eye and a broken nose, but I can still do the puns. Uh, you, you're yeah. looking pretty good with a broken nose, no, by the way. Thank you. It's, it's, Wait, it's healed fast because last time I saw you, it was worse. Yeah, it's, it's getting better. It's pretty. Yeah, you're you're a good healer. Yeah, good thank job. You're, you're a big healer, Jeff. <laughs> he, he really knows how to heal. This I guy. gave myself. You know your way uh, around. Oh, I forgot. I did a doodle of your guys' new characters, but I didn't finish it. Oh, I should have oh, finished. Shit. I'll I'll post it online. But, well, well, yeah, we'll we'll put those up on the screen when we, when we play. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that'd be time. awesome. What are, what, yeah, are the, yeah, yeah. what are the action items for? Because we're really, you know, like so for people that are in the area. Okay, when's the show? What's so it called? What do the tickets cost? And uh, you can go to StarburnsCastle.com to buy tickets. It's this Thursday on July sixth, so after July fourth. It's called What About Me? What About Me with uh, Callie and Abed. Maybe in Cali. Uh, there's also well, music. Uh, in Cali. There's a wonderful musician, Chris Lind, who's a friend of mine from New York, and I'm actually going to be doing a duet with him. Oh, wow. So yeah, that, it's also like a venue. What song are you guys doing? I'm not going to tell you. It's a surprise. Oh, I see. <laughs> but like, uh, it's like I like I, I play music and I'm you a singer songwriter, so it's also a venue where not only I get to participate in the comedy and I let him kind of run off the rails, but I get to you know do well, new well, songs. We're lucky that she stuff. doesn't interfere what, what, with my comedy. When I eventually come on the show, can I sing a song with you? Of course. Are you kidding me? That oh would man, be wonderful. you're a great singer. I would yeah. love to do like a country duet. Can you guys do? Uh, yeah. it, I love a rainy night. No, that's a great song. <laughs> <laughs> you are you're a big Eddie Rabbit fan. We know that about you. <laughs> All right. I, I tried. I tried. Thank you, this. But yeah, no, starburnscastle.com and, and just right here where we are right now. All right. Well, let's right hear here. for Callie and Abed, everybody. Uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Check out this show. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Go to Harmontown Castle. What about me? Thank you, my love. Also, find her artwork online. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. She, Callie Kazoo. Uh, dot com? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I have, uh, she did a portrait of Roy Orbison for me that's hanging in my bathroom. Yeah, her Instagram is awesome. She's always doing the like the cute little like Cali looking things. I'm not an artist. I don't know how to yeah. talk about. 
Because like she draws like this really cute, like kind of cutesy pie Disney like pinup girl kind of things, but it's always about like kind of sadness and loneliness. And so it's such a good. Yeah, a lot of vomiting, a lot of crying. It's, it's very, it's very good. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if we have time just for a couple of Twitter questions here. All right. Oh, it's, I it's, hope we have time. It's it's nine. Somebody, somebody asked a really interesting question. So uh, somebody, I can't. Oh, uh, uh, he said. If you had $1,000, how much would you regret your life decisions? And I was, I was like, oh, is that a joke? I was like, oh, no, you mean if I was, a, yeah, fuck, oh, my God. It was really, because I was like, if I, if, if I hadn't been as lucky in my life, like, I would, like, like, how much torture would I be inflicting on myself for every fucking thing that I've ever done? And it's like, it's fucked up that we do that to ourselves, because I, I guarantee you, like, the, like I, I, the fact that I have more than $1,000 isn't the result of smart choices, nor should, I, nor should I be patting myself on the back for the choices I made. Like, it's kind of two different things. It's like two different graphs, like, oh... Money got made, but then also mental illness was explored. Uh, <laughs> and only because I don't have bad consequences to blame on who I am, uh, am I able to say, oh, those are two different things. So if you're broke and you're nuts, uh, go easy on yourself. It's 9 11. 9 11. It's 9 11. For people that have never seen the show or been here before, well, that's. Please don't think we're terrorists. That's just a, that's a thing that we do. Yeah, Spencer, do you want to you want to dole out some uh, character sheets? We'll be right back. <laughs> oh yeah, let's take a let's take a mid roll break for a pre recorded ad during which the people that are in this space and the people that paid five dollars a month to watch get a secret dance segment. Damn, damn, do an armpit fart. Can Can't. you do it? I've never been able to do armpit farts. I'll show, I can show everybody, can we? Can All right, we, and we're back. Uh, no, 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 oh. don't. <laughs> I, 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 I can show We're people. not back yet. I'll show people the, uh, uh, you know, that lady. The that, last segment didn't get cut out, and any plebeians listened to it, even though it was like bonus and Well, they got them. some work to do at Feral Audio. They'll figure out how to do it, right? By the time that we actually make these segments worthwhile. <laughs> there. I put Levy, you know, there was that lady, she's like, I can't remember who she is. Oop, uh, oh, there. There she is. Remember her? She was on Twitter a little while ago because she was like bragging about how we're spending less on Wait, what is, what is, is this? She's, the UN, she's the ambassador to the UN, Mickey the U.S. Haley? ambassador to the UN. So I was like, I don't know, I'm going to put Levy's face on her just, cause, just to give the old iPad a try. It's and really then good. like partway through it, I was like, hubba hubba, you know? <laughs> like... Like nothing against her, and we're you know we're enlightened now. We're not, we're not going to judge uh, women, especially in politics, for their looks. But but uh, but I'm just saying, like you know, you throw hey, Levy's I, I, face I, on like. I think a, we're finding out. We, we found out he's a winter. <laughs> <laughs> That's really his color. And I have a type. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, boy, we're back. And man, oh, oh man, yeah. you should really pay five dollars a month. All right, you guys, you guys want to my apps? You guys want to hear a little bit of uh, Pathfinder role playing real fast? Yeah! Let's get Steve. Yeah, welcome Steve. Oh, oh, let's bring Steve Levy up here. <laughs> hey, there's people sitting on the floor. Did they pay less for their tickets? <laughs> Uh, but also, the, the, I, I want to say I want to say hi real quick uh, to uh, Heather and Andrew Gray, my uh, ex-girlfriend's uh, parents, who are here from Scotland, uh, uh, UK. Uh, the, the, we, 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 there, yes, uh, are you still back there, Heather and Andrew? Hello. Uh, I, I think we owe you an, uh, a thank you and apology because we went to their house when Dan was still with Aaron. When he when when Dan proposed to Aaron McGathy, it was. He, he had the ring in his pocket while we were at their house, and we proceeded to drink all of their scotch, all, all of their whiskey. So I hope we, we, we give them some back, but I think we drank most of it. I fucked up. I'm not signed into our Slack. Because, Ooh, I, because I got a new 10.5-inch iPad. iPad, like a Apple douche. <laughs> but I don't have a car. And the world is ending, and I can do what I want. Yeah. And I create jobs. <laughs> All right, Spencer, do you want to, uh, you want to kick this off and go uh, give us a little recap? Yeah, I guess. Is it hard? very excited about it. I always am. All right. Fuck. God damn it. Son of a bitch. 
I feel like maybe, I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> Should I not? I'm just thinking that there's a trend where I read this while Dan's occupied, and I think we're playing into that trope if I start right now. Thank you. You That's know? nice of you to notice. All right, so I'm in the D and D channel. Dan, do you want to put your little uh, fidget spinner down for a minute while we? No, uh, no, he's. He, <laughs> oh yeah, I guess that is a solution. Well, what's new in Steve's world? Yeah, let's catch up with Levy for a You're moment. You're wearing shorts, Levy. You look what the great. What's going on? You, you look fantastic in a nice, nice wintry pink. Uh, you, did, uh, did you know that? I do now, I guess. Yeah, you, you look a little. You look a little wiped out. A little beleaguered. Your jacket nice. looks tucked into your shorts. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. It's not, yeah. You okay, Steve? Yeah, just... just you, a little, you a little tired? A little tired. What happened? Long day? Yeah, long, long weekend. Holiday weekend. Yeah. Just beginning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not, I, not for me. It doesn't feel that way. No? No. You got to go back to work tomorrow? Uh, Steve always works. Yeah. Spencer, actually, he covered for me all day Friday, and I love him for that. Thank you. Right. Steve always works, unless he doesn't. Okay, um, I have my character sheet up, and, I, and I, I'll just multitask between that and the Slack to look at the PDF of, uh, of the uh, spell sheet, and, I'll, and, and you know, I'll, every once in a while I'll pass this photo of Levy and get a boner, but I, I'll... <laughs> that's just going to have to be like a little handicap that I... A capability, a different ability. Which picture? Wh which picture do you think you, you could more successfully masturbate to—the original of that woman, or the or the the edited Steve Levy one? No, for sure the Levy one because I, I yeah, know for th sure. I'll, I'll, in my heart, I'll be like, even like it, 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 it's like she was. You know, the only reason I have her photo is because she was like she was bragging about the savings that we've made by not not not. Uh, you know, caring enough of, as much about the UN. And Steve, which photo of Dan do you think would be the easiest to masturbate to? Uh, Probably that one with his balls, it's right? So, it's, oh, it, no. it, it's, so, it's so easy to embarrass Steve Levy. It's almost unfair. No, I know. It's great. That's yeah. why I brought him up. When you, yeah. We, That's I, like a, yeah, every, every group text, like, like, no matter what anybody says, it's like a, tri like a hair trigger. You're going to get the uh, monkey with the its... The see uh, no evil monkey. Yeah. yeah you, get, you, you get shy monkeys. And if it's really embarrassing, because like, there's also the thing that Cody and Dan... Occasionally, me there's a picture of Dan with his balls out that we it, just said. It, we, it we got worse. It got worse a couple of weeks ago, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. We, we like to Cody and I like to trick Steve into looking at my genitals, and uh, <laughs> uh, like Cody will take pictures of me in hotel rooms and stuff. And then I had there was a hotel and it had like a uh, it had like a thing that was like. A, I don't know why I would have this, but it was like a thing that we're... No, it's a thing you put on your doorknob but outside it, the hotel room. But why would it say room. breakfast? Because it means that you want... You want breakfast? They'll deliver breakfast. They want, they'll, they'll take your order or something. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you yeah, fill that up morning. Before, you okay. Fill, you fill well, it up so before 6 a.m. I've never been in a hotel that had door, that, but yeah. it was like, well, guess what's going through there? And then like... So it's just, it's just you know, it's just a circular hole. It says breakfast. And then I'm like... And, and, and so I'll just... Yeah, you you, <laughs> you you could just text somebody. You could just send that photo to somebody, and you'd be tricking them into seeing it. But it's like funnier to be like, "Hey, Steve, uh, I need those tax forms." And we're, also, have you seen the thing? We're in like, the middle of the desert in some random <laughs> bar doing work, and Cody is texting me in the story with Dan, and she's like, "You know, we we got to do this thing." And hey, can you help me with this? I'm going to send you some stuff that I need help on, and then just this picture of Dan comes through. <laughs> We're oh, sitting yeah. at the bar in public, and it's three or four images in a row of him was dick yeah. through the breakfast. That kind of backfired because it was like there this was dark guy. Burbank bar, and these giant screens, and it was just like in the timeline. I'm like, ha ah, ah. ha! And there's a guy next to Dan who clearly saw this picture. This like conservative misogynistic guy who, uh, and he just we're, we're we're laughing, and he commented on us like laughing at, and, and, I don't know, it just. And then Dan got sucked into this horrible conversation. I mean, uh, didn't you guys at Starburns recently have a sexual harassment workshop? Like, 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 thing? Yeah. Every, we every, did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is that, are, 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 are you... How, are you how, how, how does this not qualify as It's full? totally fine. Well, you Dan, obviously missed the meeting. Dan had... <laughs> <laughs> if, it's, if, if it has to be unwelcome exactly. in order for it to be bad. It has to be unwelcome. Right. 
Also, Steve technically, Cody it. sent it to me, so... Okay. She's not... Yeah. She doesn't work with yeah, me. Yeah, Dan had no involvement with that at all. He didn't, he didn't want you to see a picture of his dick going through the breakfast sign. I don't know. I think Dan texted Cody, like, yo, it would be funny if you sent that picture to Lee. I, I don't want to see that photo. I'm a little sad I wasn't on that group text, though. I feel a little <laughs> left out. By, by the way, it was a preemptive uh, sexual harassment seminar. A lot of companies have them. Um, yeah. Uh, was yeah. Not, <laughs> we were overdue, probably, it right? Was not, <laughs> Yeah. Well, don't say that either. I think it was right on time. And no, because we're so good at A it. traditional educational thing to equip all of our employees with the knowledge they need to make a safe environment. Right. It, it, it took you guys 45 minutes to make your next dick joke uh, in front of everybody. It was oh, like well, yeah, every, everybody weeks. that works at a company that's had those knows that those days are the days that everyone is the grossest. Because everybody has like this camaraderie and then they're like, oh, we're going to do the sexual hair. And then everyone, and then people start like, you know, like it's uh, I, I'm above it. I'm I'm uh, because I because then I have a separate meeting where the lawyer comes in and goes like, okay, here's your meeting. Like the management thing, where they go, here's the number of ways you can get sued and for how much money. I'm like, oh, feminist. Like 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 I like like, like uh, I'm I'm just like 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 I, I I was I was woke before I started talking to these people, but now I'm like wide awake. Like, You're wide awake. I'm like five hour energy. Like who's feeling unsafe? All right, Spencer, you ready to go? Uh, yeah, sure. Dan, are you ready to uh, are you ready to rock here? You should save that image to your photo stream. Yeah. Wait, what? What, what would that do? You don't have to log into Slack that way. Oh, I, 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 whoop, whoop. <laughs> I, 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 I needed to get into Slack for the spell uh, loadouts. I had this in my photo roll. Got it. You look nice tonight. Oh. You should wear more sweaters. <laughs> He's straight up harassing you now. <laughs> this is the definition of harassment. All right. This okay. Well, then I, all right. It's cut and dry. It's not as gray as you might think. It's also like technically one of the things you learn in these seminars is someone in this room could make the case. So like, yeah, you could go to a lawyer and you could say, I watched a conversation between Dan and Steve that made me un feel unsafe uh, at a Harmontown show. And you could, Nick, you might uh, find the right lawyer. I wouldn't put that out there. All right, Spencer. <laughs> Take it away, Spencer. All right. Uh, last. Last time on Harmontown D&D. &D. You guys were in the town. You had came to help because they had asked for your aid and you showed up and punched a kid because he was possessed by multiple entities. Fake news. <laughs> this is why you won. Then uh, what happened was you left and you went and checked out some burnt out buildings, finding some buried corpses. Then you went to the church and talked to the church prior. He was all weird and you were like, whoa, he was sad. It was Tom. Tom's the bad guy. And you weren't buying it, but Jeff was buying it. And Diarrhea Jr. was there. The end. Yeah, we're like, we're our third chapter in, and because we did this the last time in a, in a tent in the summer uh, at, a, at a festival, I, we're already into the whole thing that, like, I'm like, oh yeah, what did we do? I remember we went to the friar, and, but then like, wh okay, wh so where are we? We, no, we, we went back, we, 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 went got, back we, the... we got holy water from the friar, went back to Tom's house. Right. And... We tried to kick his door down eight times, but we couldn't do it because we're all... Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, because you kept oh rolling God, apparently yeah. ones or twos, and we couldn't kick a door down. Wait, so put I, the music I, back on. Hold on. I, I, I cast... <laughs> right, you, yeah, you want I'm the pretty... music? <laughs> uh, D Jeff tried to burn the door down, and then they started throwing rocks from the second floor, and everybody took damage. All right, now it's gone. And, that, and that's currently where we are. We're on the yeah, outside of the yeah, house. Yeah, you're no, outside. I'm at the back door. Jeff tried to burn it down, and then Steve put the water, or he put his water skin on it to put the fire out, and J uh, Dan tried to kick it down, kick down a door, and then you guys tried to kick down the door, and they're throwing stuff at you. From so are, are we in a combat situation right now? Yeah, you're in a combat situation. All right. Uh... You're in the back of the house, right, right, uh, <laughs> yeah, Carlos? Right. Carlos. I, I, I call out to Carlos, like, Carlos, come back out to the front of the house. We're getting rocks thrown at us, and I need your help. 
Okay. I want to climb climb to the to the window. Yeah. All right. I got to get my dice. <laughs> and should I, I, we? I, I wish I had like sex, guys, sexy you guys stripper music. Stuff. <laughs> it's like it's like when a, a, an '80s wrestler gets his uh, snake out of the bag. <laughs> Which '80s wrestler, Dan? All right, I'm sorry, I didn't. The Snake Man. I don't know. I wasn't part of that culture. Jake the Snake. Well, how inventive. Uh, uh, sorry. Should, should we just say that I'm doing loadout one just to keep things simple because I keep fucking up with my... I didn't, you know... Yeah. Uh, that, okay. That's what the, we have been using loadout one, and yeah. we still are. Okay. It, we're, no, it's important to establish that. Yeah. Though. You climb up the house. You're on the second floor window. Who Steve. is? Steve. You did? You? I climbed into the house because we couldn't open the door. <clears throat> He, 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 he's being a man of action now, finally. Like, after, after putting out the fire I, I set to try to burn the door down. I just want to know, did he do that in the front, or where were you in relation the to the front house? door? This okay. is the front Jeff door. Jeff, the and front I'm, door. I'm, 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 all right, well, and, uh, a, a, yeah, sorry. It hasn't been my turn yet, so. Well, you came around. Your, your okay. turn happened first. You came around okay. to the front door. Then Steve climbed the, the wall. Okay. Careful! <laughs> Uh, I, I uh, say to uh, to Carlos, uh, hey, this door is probably about to give in. Kick this door down. You're stronger than I am. Me? Oh shit! I fuck. I, you are sorry. You, you are Car- yes, Carlos. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. <sighs> Silver flame, guide my foot. <laughs> it guides it directly into the door. You kick it, and nothing happens. Jesus Christ! <laughs> What it's is a, this door? It's a really made strong of? door. I don't know, but I think this is the fourth attempt to kick down this door. <laughs> is, it, is it weakening at all? Can we tell that it's maybe giving in a little bit? Um, no, your your attempts have made it seem like this door is made out of iron or some shit, even though you can tell it's not. All right, I I um, I, I use uh, my shillelagh because I have a, uh, a my my my, my quarter staff as a plus one weapon damage, a two d six. So I, uh, I just give it a full... Oh, no, I shoot a firebolt through my... Uh, I, I use my, my weapon domain, and I shoot fire through my shillelagh at the door. You shoot a firebolt? Is, is, what, what do I have? What, what shoots out of my... Uh... You can shoot all sorts of things yeah, out of all I, sorts I, I, of places. I, 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 I shoot a magical, like, actual flame at, at the door. Yeah, well, you have multiple spells that shoot fire. A fire bolt is a spell, or is a thing you could do. All right. That could be the answer. I just want to make sure. Okay, yeah, uh, fire bolt. Okay, sorry. You do that. You shoot it. It starts burning. Ugh. It's burning, and now Steve's on the second floor, Ugh. so it's not going to put itself out with water. But, again, it will take a while because fire is not, you know, it's a thick door. It takes a while to burn a door down. Yeah, yeah. I I step back after that, and so I'm out of rock. The door is on fire. How about yours? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I'm having a great time. (laughs) Whose turn Um, is it? I I should know. Is it? Yeah. It's my turn. All right, uh, Tom Fell tries to stab at Steve Levy with a knife. Oh, he misses. <laughs> he lunges and drops the knife out the window. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, uh, now it's a dance turn again. Yay! <laughs> uh, is 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 Diarrhea Junior close enough? Even though he's up there, I just want to do one of these things like be a good cleric and do that like buff thing where I like do, send a cha- an energy channel out with it make like uh, buffs everybody in my which which one channel it's, energy it is that's it, a heal spell uh, or what good aura deflection aura no is it good aura isn't that is that, that a, just means uh, you have an oh no aura I'm sorry that that's a description goodness. of my aura sorry I, yeah god damn it I'm really fucking up I'm sorry Spencer. no you're doing great you're asking uh, questions don't, and getting don't information wait, no. okay all right all right, right shit shit no I thought I had a thing where I could like I'm sorry I I, I really I, 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 and then I got drunk, and the, you know I got all riled up because of that. Uh, that I was you thinking know. about how riled up you had gotten. Yeah, <laughs> it was Abed. You know, he's so defensive about that fucking story. It's just like, just accept it. You talked a guy to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he voted for Jill Stein. <laughs> I bet he did. 
<laughs> we don't know. Not, that. not only did did he not, but if you did, it's fine. I don't care. I don't don't. I don't. I don't want a part of any <laughs> any incidents. Um, I, I'm not. I'm t- I, 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 uh, shit. I thought. I've, okay. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? Throw me the holy water. Um, I'll, I'm gonna throw you the holy water. <laughs> I thought I had a thing that was like. Oh well. All right. I thought I had a thing. What's your dexterity? Uh, it's pretty high. Yeah, I think uh, it's like it's twelve. Really? Yeah. As clerics go, you know, we don't we don't spend a lot of time at the gym. And Wait. so, sorry. What? You don't have the throat. Well, Steve has the holy water. Yeah, I do. You have it. Yeah, it's in a bottle. Oh, you're right. Your jar. That's right. It's in my jar. Because Dan would have but, dropped it. But, but I, I, I have some too. You and I both have holy water. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I remember. But Thanks. Dan used his. <laughs> uh, is it my turn? Uh, no, it's still Dan's turn. <laughs> All right. So I, I, I'm, I'm going to. Because the door is on fire. Is there a window we could just go in and not deal with this crazy ass door? You could climb through the window I climbed through. I'm just gonna kick the flaming door. Okay. <laughs> it's round five. All right, you kick in the flaming door. I kick it in? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the level we've been reduced to. They're cheering that we did one thing. Right. Yeah, we've been trying for an hour to kick this yeah. fucking door. You wouldn't be cheering if you were the family that lived here. Like they haven't really technically done anything to deserve this yet. Right. Yeah. We don't know that. All right, we don't know that, but that's when you shouldn't yeah. kick in there. Too. Exactly. <laughs> um, um, all right. Okay, so you kick in the door and it flies off its hinges. It lands on the ground, smoldering and firing. We're here to help. <laughs> You not be a piece of shit. I see Tom. Is Tom there? No, he's upstairs. Okay, I run upstairs. All right. Uh, wait. Or is hey, it my jump? Steve's turn. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, I, I go into the, their kid's bedroom. All right. Well, Tom, <laughs> Tom's... <laughs> Just that as a, a time code here, if you want to make a GIF. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Tom's Tom's in the in the window. He's like you're you're kind of outside the house, and he's on the inside of the house. So oh, I didn't climb into the house. No, yet. you're on the outside of the house because oh. he's like threatening it, well, like he was trying to stab you. Well, I I, I want to do a move where I like jump to the window and kick him. All right, <laughs> you jump through the window and you try to kick him, but you just jump in the window. <laughs> Now you're inside, but, you know, your kick missed, and he, like, whirls around. He's like, ah. All right. Uh, Jeff's turn now. I, I, I run upstairs to that room. All right. You do that. Um, is, it, is the door open? Uh, where, where you are, where Steve is, is kind of like the landing of the house. It's not a room. It's just kind of open. Uh-huh. So that's, you're both standing in that, and then there's two closed bedroom doors. Uh do I know which one Tom is in? Like, whatever. You know which one was the kid's room because you were there. Earlier. Okay, I, I, I open that door. All right, you do that. Is that, is that the end of my turn? Uh, the kid, well, you see the kid, he's, he's, he's still belted to the bed. He doesn't seem awake, though. But, but Tom's not there. No, Tom is in the landing with Steve. All right, can I keep looking, or is that the end of my action? Uh, what are you looking for? Tom. He's with Steve. He's on the oh, landing. Oh, so I was just there. Yeah. Okay, I take out my holy water and throw it at him. All right. It hits him. Wait. Does it hit him? It hits him right in the eye. You see, you see the, wait, what kind of, what, what, is, what is the holy water in? Uh, like, I, like a wine skin, I just like, squir- I squeeze it and squirt it at him. Okay. Um, I, it, I swear I had a five gallon uh, drum of it somewhere. But. You, you had holy water, but you used it. And I think you marked it off in your sheet, but you don't have the current sheet. Uh, I was just doing a callback to oh. this. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. Right, because the sparkles yeah, this, this, guy. Yeah, the sparkles yeah. guy stole your holy water. Sorry, it's everybody. not your fault. My joke didn't land. They would, if they would have laughed. I'm sorry, Dan's joke didn't land. No, uh, 
Uh, what? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, so I, no, I, no. I, I, I like, like you take my wine. Right in the roll. eye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he stumbles backwards and lands on his back. Um, he's like, ah, ah, water's in my eye. <laughs> See, that's the thing about hitting them in the eye with the holy water. You still don't know if they're uh, evil. Because they're like, ah, there's water in I my eye. I was so sure that he was evil. <laughs> his flesh doesn't, um, you know, uh, like steam like a vampire's or whatever, you know? And by the way, meta, meta gaming table talk, but the fucking guy that we talked to, the friar had shit all over his face. I'm not saying that makes you a bad person, but he was like paranoid and crazy. All right. I don't know if he had shit all over his face. Also, you did throw holy water at him. The friar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've kind of... <laughs> see, this is what I do. I yeah. alienate. <laughs> so it, that was great. That was so much fun. Go back and listen to that. Episode. Oh, I, I will. Okay. Oh yeah. So the holy, the, the holy water has oh, no no terrible. effect other than just being water in this guy's eyeballs. No. Yeah. Well, it knocked him over. The holy water. The force of the holy water knocked him over. Yeah, it hit him right in the eye, and he fell. Hit backwards. him in the eye. I mean, what you of all people should know. I didn't. You, a guy punched me at a Nick Cave concert. I didn't fall down. I just spilled my drinks and bled all over my suit. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, and we spent the episode talking about Abed. Yeah. Uh, you know, he talked to a guy while he was asleep. Yeah. <laughs> um, I. Well, it's, probably, it's probably the end of my turn. The, the, uh, you can move, but yeah, more I, or less. I, I, I get on top of him and try to subdue him. Like, I, I, I take some rope out and try to, like, like bind him. All right. Well, you go to do that. Okay. You, you can't quite start up, but you get in his space, so you're kind of, like, threatening him, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, he, he just starts crying. He doesn't try and fight or anything anymore. He just starts crying. <laughs> okay. Is it? Whose term? Dan, sorry. Oh, uh, what's this? I only know this guy's name is Tom, right? It's Tom Fell. Tom he, Fell. He, he fell from grace. He's right. a, he's a, we think he's a baddie. Tom Fell of what's the town's name? Roan. Tom Fell of Roan. You have many enemies. We might be your only friends. You must tell us the truth. <laughs> uh, he's just crying. He's like, whatever. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Leave us alone. Nah, that's not gonna work. that never works. Yeah, you look around. <laughs> <laughs> so I spent my spent my turn. Uh, nah, you can still do some talking. Okay. Well, I'll, uh, I just want to. Uh, uh, what if I? Okay, let do, me. Don't you have some me, sort of clerical healing or let like, me try like this. evil casting out kind of abilities or no? Well, you know, I'm not. Uh, look, I. Let me try, is he damaged to the point where, like, can I, like, don't I have, like, uh, like, like, maybe I can get in this guy's good graces with, like, just to, and make him understand that, that we're, we're civil servants, you know? Like, if I were to go, if I were to just, you know, wait, where's the, okay, like, uh, what is it? Well, if I just use that channel thing, and I just go, can I just heal him? Yeah. He's not he's not damaged. Yeah. He feels healed though. I go I got hey man, are you alright? What are you doing? Look, there's something crazy going on in this town. Like everybody's everybody... Yeah, there's a fucking nightmare church that's bursting into people's houses and not healing sick people. Is this not the first time this has happened to you? No, this is the second time you have been here this evening. <laughs> That feeling when your trail of clues leads back to you. Uh, God damn it, we're so bad at this. <laughs> what's the What's the kid doing? The kid is in the room. He's He's in the bedroom. Is he Is he Does he still seem evil? Does he still seem evil? Who are you asking? Uh, the uh, you. He's, well, he's in the bed. He's not on the landing with us. He's in the bedroom. He's no, asking Steve you. Steve is in the landing. Oh, oh. he's I mean, with everyone. We, we, we tried holy water on the kid before, right? Dan missed, but then I mopped his brow with the with the thing, and that didn't. Yeah. it, it kind of didn't do much, it right? It did some damage to him. Oh, <laughs> I mean, we can damage the kid all we want. Like we're we're great at that. <laughs> <laughs> Diarrhea. Go check on the kid. I walk into the room where the kid is. All right, the kid seems asleep. Oh. Well, where's the wife? Does he does he look does he seem sick? 
He seems asleep. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't seem healthy. Is Who, Bonnie the wife there? Who's got eyes on the wife? don't see the wife. No one sees the wife. I need a 10 on the wife. <laughs> wait. A 10? So wait, Jeff hit the kid in the 20. eye with holy water and he's now asleep? No, no Jeff I, hit the Tom in the eye with the holy dad. water. Oh, okay. Well, I want to take my glass jar of holy water and pour it on the kid. All right. <laughs> Isn't he the one that's like sort of possessed? Yeah. yeah. What? I can't hear you. I'm on the landing. He, he gets experience points for, for, for doing that. Who? Je- Dan? Dan, yeah. for, for oh, knowing that he couldn't hear Yeah. Them. You get experience points for being on the landing. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Jeff. Yes. Let's sidebar I here. mean, who's Jeff? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoa. Jeff gets experience points. Who is this Jeff you Chad. speak of? You're talking to Chad, Chad, Chad the Fire Chad, Lander. Chad. Yeah. Yes. Steve gets experience points. What if... <laughs> Look, wait. I don't know how holy water works. I've never used it for anything like this before. Yeah. Do you think we should hold him down and chain him to the bed and he, then make him drink the holy water? I think he's, he's already belted he's to already the bed. He's already belted to the bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, good. Yeah, just get in there and do, do, do your thing. Can, Go fo- nuts up there. Follow, just, your, follow your heart, Diarrhea improvise. Jr. No wrong answers. Well, uh, can you help? All right. Uh, um, are, you, are you calling out to me? <laughs> Wait, you're not in the room? No, I'm in, I'm in the landing. But I, I hear him and I go into the room with him. Yeah, right. it's a small house. It's a small yeah. house. Okay, so now I'm, Come I'm, in here and help me hold this kid's mouth right, open. I, I, I go to the kid and, I, and I, I pry his jaw open and his head and hold his mouth open. Like, like a I ba- take out my glass jar. Like a baby bird. I pop open the lid and I start pouring it down his throat. All right, all right. That happens. <laughs> We wait with wild expectation to wait, see wait. what the results... You should, you should close his mouth and make him I, swallow. I close it and shake his head like a popper in Mexico. <laughs> like a, you do that. Um, he starts frothing. You Steam <laughs> starts shooting out of his body. Um, steam starts shooting out of his body. And you feel a sharp, terrible pain in your... Uh, what do you call it? Ankles. <laughs> you forgot Ankles. All right. You remembered oh, ankles? It. So we didn't have a 20 on the wife. Yeah. A knife shoots out and stabs you in the legs it's for always the three fucking damage. Wife. Sorry. Each oh, of you take three damage. Oh, she, your she under, hurt. Is she under the bed? Yeah. Gotta, God damn it. When you do a raid, you always look for the wife. They get they get a they get a homestead instinct. It riles them up. They get, they'll, they'll fucking like they'll take you out like 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 Rambo. How much damage did I take? You take three. Jesus Christ, I'm getting killed over here. All right. Um, the, 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 the demon spawn child starts thrashing and, 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 and sizzling and frothing madly and spasming all over the place. You see, you see a, a black spirit erupt from its mouth. It's, it's all weird. It looks like a, like a flat, dark-colored ghost silhouette kind of shadowy thing. And... Uh, Right after that happens, you see the ghost kid kind of burst out of it, and it starts like it's wailing on the on the demon. It's like punching at the demon, and they're just kind of wrestling on the floor. These two immaterial creatures. So is, is that the ghost of the brother the, the, that we saw from earlier? Uh, what, what, what was his name? Archer. Yeah, it's Archer? the ghost you saw in the past. So Archer is for now fighting a demon ghost that's emanating. They're both emanating from uh, Cliff. They have emanated. Now they're done being emanated. But yes, but they're they're out fighting. Yeah, physically out in the room. Right oh now. yeah, they're duking it out. Oh man, the production values are great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just cradling Tom on the landing, just going, "It's gonna be cool, man." Sometimes shit, you know, life doesn't. Well, why didn't you just, you know, come back in the morning or something? Look, or not burst down the door. Or not light the house on fire. Wait, Did so- you guys put the house out? I think there's a burning door downstairs. You smell smoke real bad. I'll take care of that. But before I do, I want to say this. No offense, but I don't get the impression from where you live that you haven't made mistakes in your life. <laughs> You're right. Every citizen should live a perfect life in order to not be murdered by the state. That's not what I said. That's not, don't put words in my mouth. I don't, I don't, I don't come to where you live. No, I and agree. I'm I, with do, you. I do come to where you yes, live. Yes, you do. Yes. You, you, you do that twice a night, apparently. All right, you're not even... I, no, I I'm agree. Gonna, I'm agreeing with you. Okay, well, where's your water? What? Their water to put out the f- fire in your house I started. It's in the well. 
It's no well? It's in the well. Oh, oh. We live on a farm. All right. Well, I'm going, kid, do you have any people that can go get some? <laughs> Fuck. Well, my do you wife have a bucket? Is, the... is there a bucket at the... Yeah, I, well, there's a bucket. All right. Well, come with me. I don't want you running around like a... Oh, well, there's a plan. He grabs the bucket and runs outside. I assume you're following him? Yeah. Yeah, he just does it normally and starts... He, he throws the bucket of water. He puts out the fire. It's, oh. it's nondescript. It's teamwork. I, yeah. ho- I, I hollered down and said, hey, uh, we got a ghost fight up here, and a lady just cut my ankles from underneath the bed. We got a, such, we got a, we got a code 14 up here. Well, you're doing it all in a house that ain't on fire. <laughs> Wait. And there's like a Voltron uh, split screen. Of... <laughs> all right. We're all working together. Synergy. That's great. We could call it. Let's keep going, though, right? All right, Tom, I'm going to head upstairs because I'm a cleric. Sounds like shit's going down with your haunted son. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the best church in the world? Uh, no. All right, you know what? We'll sell you later. Yeah. <laughs> I head upstairs. Okay, I, I, I fill him in and say, oh, by the way, uh, <laughs> we poured holy water down this kid's mouth. The mom is angry. She's underneath the bed. She just sliced us in the ankles like a prison fight. Okay, are the are the spirits emanating? They're already emanated. They've oh, already, interesting. They're, 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 it's, this is post-emanation. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Uh, and I, I mean, look, I, I don't want to point out the obvious. I don't, I don't want to ghost explain, but uh, there's a ghost. <laughs> there's a ghost fighting what we think is the spirit of the dead brother Archer, and they're duking it out on the, on the mortal plane right now. Right. Well, I think we should help <laughs> the good ghost. Are you bleeding from your ankle? Yeah, I took three damage. I'm, I, I, I eat a good berry. Wait, do you? Yeah, I eat some good berries. Okay. Do I see Bonnie? Uh, no, you don't see anything under the bed. How, how much healing do I take from the good berries? Well, each good berry you eat gives you one health, so it's up to you how many you want to eat. I eat three. Then you gain three health. Okay, so I'm I'm good to go. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I I gotta get some new socks tomorrow, but I, I'm. Uh... <laughs> I mean, as long as we're still talking, who who cut your ankles? There's some crazy lady under the bed. I mean, there's a lady under the bed. Yeah, the mom. I mean, like she might be just protecting her family, but it's a weird instinct to have a knife underneath a bed. <laughs> I don't I don't really like her style. Yeah. I, I mean, seriously, we need to keep an eye on her. We, we have to keep, you know, just don't get too close to the bed. Diarrhea, get the lady out from under the bed. Uh, I look under the bed for the lady. All right. Uh, well, describe I, that action. It, don't, don't look with your face. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like, you know, like five feet away, and I okay. look to see if she's under there. Yeah, she's under there. She's <laughs> crouched up like a, like a big green tarantula. All right, so I, I take my slingshot and I load it up and I right. shoot her in the head. <laughs> Not hard, just like, you know. like We said no wrong answers. What's your attack bonus on the slingshot? Do you see that? Plus four. All right, you hit her. You hit her in the face. All right. With what, like a rock? Or and while I'm yeah, assuming, rock. while she's in pain, I want to pull her out from under the bed. All right, that happens. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I have it under control. <laughs> I, 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 can I? Can we do like a perception check on her, or like a sense motive? Like, like is she, is she evil, or is she being is she, <laughs> just being a, a good mom? You know what? <laughs> Save your dice. <laughs> she's a mother. <laughs> Home is being invaded. She has, she has a knife she, under the bed. She's just doing the best she can with she's, what she's got. She, <laughs> she, she I don't care if she is evil. She's yeah, going to do the same well, thing she, as if she, she's good. She's either a, a great mom or Steven Seagal. Like she's <laughs> like, either way. Uh, she seems normal, yeah. <laughs> so she, oh, she, I'm so sorry. I just uh, want to help your child. <laughs> I take it back. I take it back. I now I want to go over to the kid. I think, I think diplomacy has gone out the window a long time ago. <laughs> wait, wait, just, just, just. We've won zero hearts and maybe one mind if we lose this. I take out my water skin. I try to 
give the kids some water and, uh, and, and some trail rations. All right, well, the kids, the kids unconscious. I just laughed so hard I made my broken nose bleed. Oh, no, are you, do you need anything? Oh, oh no. Oh. oh. Yeah. Do I get his turn? Yeah, you get his turn. Wait, there's freaking Morty drawings on here. <laughs> um, he's got. He's. He's. You're. Comp- Someone get that man a tissue. Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> Yay! Oh, How amazing would it have been when you got in a fight with that guy at the Nick Cave concert if? He had you uh, cornered, uh, and he had a couple guys, and then all of a sudden, like you, all of your friends from jail, the the the, <laughs> the Latino like uh, Hollywood guys. I got a bunch. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you. You have a problem, Hollywood? And then you look, and it's just like nine dudes, and they like swing like pirates into the fray. Sha! <laughs> yeah. All right, continue. Um. I so I, I just I, I I I know this is like oh oh Dan just same old Dan he doesn't know how to play Pathfinder he I, I, but I could have sworn like I'm a cleric I'm oh, level yeah. two there's an evil beastie here in front of me in the form of this like black silhouette ghost like I got and I don't I just I don't have any like standard like just in AD and D in the eighties it was just I'm a cleric. I'll turn undead. It's just right. a skill I have. Like I don't have anything like that, right? Yeah, you'll get that next level, I believe. Well, I can't wait. <laughs> but for now, I guess I just go like, "Go, white ghost." You do that. The white ghost is going. Well, I guess it's a white ghost. The ghost. It's a ghost of color. Maybe it's the ghost of of, of white Roan. Maybe yeah. we, maybe 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 the whole the thing that happened here is we forgot Roan's rust belt. <laughs> Could be. All right, you root for the kid. Go Archer, go! We believe in you. Come on. You believe in Archer. <laughs> All right. Who's Someone else do something. Okay. Uh, are, are they in physical form or in ghostly kind of apparition form? Uh, oh, you don't wait know. a minute. It's hard to tell by looking at it. They just look, they look ghostly. I mean, channel smite. This is a feat, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, which I hope does not fail me now. Uh, <laughs> use channel energy to deal extra damage to undead on attack. So basically, Six, like if I could just do a standard failed. attack, I mean, might as well do something. Attack the, clearly the, more evil of the two ghosts. I know who Archer is. I don't want to attack Archer. What do you attack with? Uh, I am, of course, going to use my Morningstar. All right, what's the attack bonus on that? Plus two. It hits! And I'm using that channel smite, so I'm going like, in the name of Horrocks, you... I can't find my dice. Dealing 10 damage. Your morning star phases through the incorporeal body of the demon spirit, but you can see the white energy of the silver flame that emanates from your weapon. Disperse the form of the demon creature as it slices through its mistly body. Oh, yeah! You get the sense that the ghost kid did most of the work. But you don't let that bother you because of a win's a win. <laughs> I think you did it. Thank, he thank did you. do it. And hey, uh, nice bullseye on that uh, housewife. <laughs> I, I was sc- she cut my ankles. I was scared. You know, no, I, she was the worst. I uh, didn't know. She's still she's still under the bed. You guys, you can hear us. <laughs> well, she's she's no, he dragged her out after he hit her with a rock. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. We're we're the A team. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but well, uh, right, results so, are results. I don't want to be Machiavellian about it. I turn to Tom and I go, come on, yeah, dot, we, dot, dot, house no longer on fire, kid no longer haunted. I'm talking about a good church. 
So he passes out. What's happening with the uh, with Archer, the, the ghost of Archer, the, the good the good spirit? Um, the ghost kid looks at you like uh, in a in a regarding way. It's like wow, people, huh? Kid. Archer, yeah. What's going on in this town? Archer doesn't really talk, but it kind of walks backwards and phases out of the wall, and you can kind of see it outside the window. Oh, 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 uh, he wants us, f- diarrhea, follow the ghost. I, I, I follow Archer. He, uh, he's, uh, Archer's going to the, towards the, towards the graveyard at the end of the city, at the edge of the forest. But would our heroes find a thing in the end of the, the D&D? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's the, yeah. Yeah, yeah do you uh, want to rap or something? Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. Know. We did it. Zach, Zach, you got a beat? Lay it on us, Zach. Zach McKeever back there, the DJ with the mostest. All right. Oh, yeah. Yo. Higher and higher. Rap. I went out to the sun, said to the moon, I'm going to combine you both real soon because I'm an alchemist. I combine things and make children sing. So I took some gold and some silver, <coughs> put them in a bowl, <laughs> and I waited, but nothing happened. I'm a bad alchemist. Got a lot to learn about alchemy. Can't just put two metals in a bowl. They won't do anything. If they did, alchemy wouldn't be called alchemy. It would be called what normally happens. But this is how we learn. So I went to burn some books about alchemy. Because I was still not thinking right about how it works and thought if I could make alchemy have less information that relatively I would be more of an alchemist. It was misguided thinking. It was thinking, thinking. It wasn't like Lincoln. It freed the slaves (laughs) and created graves that are haunted by white America today. We struggle with integrity. (laughs) We played D&D and we did it pretty nicely. I'm real proud of myself. When you say self, you're probably gonna rhyme it with shelf. shelf. There's almost no other word that you're gonna come up with. Elf. Mouth, south. Yo, I'm gonna take a tooth, put it in a booth, and it's gonna shoot Lincoln. That's a homonym, right? Yo, a Missy homonym. I heard my name coming in again. I sound like other things, and when I ring a ling, I suck my ding a ling. I got, I got a Roger Waters sized dick. I can suck on it just by bringing it to my lips. A hit, a hop, a hip, hip, a hit. Can you, can you do like a Roger Waters sample about his dick? Like, can you do a Pink Floyd like, like yeah. mix on that? Yeah. Uh. The razor blade, the cold cut of British government issues you don't understand when you're 15, but they sound cool. I'm Roger Waters. The government of England in the 70s is confusing to you, but the general idea is disenfranchisement. My name is 
John Johnson. This rap has been hit and miss, but it's like a river of piss. Maybe it's made of piss, but it's still a river. You could try to fish in it. And if you catch a fish, it's still a fish even though it lives in piss. And you take it home and you cook it up and you eat it up. And then you get 7-Up to wash it down. But then you got diabetes. Thank you for coming to Harmon Town, everybody. I think we did it. Thank you to whoever brought me napkins and tissues for my bleeding nose. Steve Levy, everybody. Kelly Fontecchio, Abed Gates, go see their show. What about me? Spencer Crittenden is your game master, of course. Thank you, Chris, Sarah, Zach, everybody. Church is sad she can't be here tonight. Uh, I'm your uh, comptroller, Jeff Davis. Your mayor is Dan Harmon. Thank you so much for coming. Drive fast and take chances. government. It is the mission of the National Security Agency to assess and flag citizens of the country who may present a threat to its security. <laughs> the NSA has clearance to wiretap by any means necessary. Tapped. Incidental recordings of private conversations from the files of the NSA. Now on feralaudio.com. Just use that channel thing and I just go, can I just heal him? Yeah. He's not, he's not damaged. Yeah. He feels healed though I go I got hey man you all right what are you doing look there's something crazy going on in this town like everybody's yeah there's a fucking nightmare church that's bursting into people's houses and not healing sick people is this not the first time this has happened to you no this is the second time you have been here this evening That feeling when your trail of clues leads back to you. Uh, God damn it, we're so bad at this. <laughs> what's, the, what's the kid doing? The kid is in the room. He's, he's in the bedroom. Is he, is he, does, he still seem evil? does he still seem evil? Who are you asking? Uh, the, uh, you? He's, well, he's in the bed. He's not on the landing with us. He's in the bedroom. He's no, asking Steve you. Steve is in the landing. Oh, oh. he's I with mean, everyone. We, we, we tried holy water on the kid before, right? Dan missed, but then I mopped his brow with the with the thing, and that didn't. Yeah. it, it kind of didn't do much, right? It did some damage to him. Oh, so, so I mean, we can damage the kid all we want. Like we're we're great at that. <laughs> <laughs> Diarrhea. Go check on the kid. I walk into the room where the kid is. All right, the kid seems asleep. Oh. Well, where's the wife? Does he does he look does he seem sick? He seems asleep. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't seem healthy. Is Who, Bonnie the wife there? Who's got eyes on the wife? The wife. No one sees the wife. I need a ten on the wife. <laughs> wait, a ten? So wait, Jeff hit the kid in the 20. eye with holy water, and he's now asleep. No, no Jeff I, hit the Tom in the eye with the holy dad. water. Oh, okay. Well, I want to take my glass jar of holy water and pour it on the kid. All right. <laughs> Isn't he the one that's like sort of possessed? Yeah. yeah. What? I can't hear you. I'm on the landing. <laughs> he, he gets experience points for, for, for doing that. Who? Je- Dan? Dan, yeah. for, for oh, knowing that he couldn't hear. Yeah. Him. You get experience points for being on the landing. <laughs> <laughs> or wait, wait, wait. Jeff. Yes. Let's sidebar I here. mean, who's Jeff? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoa. Jeff gets experience points. This is Jeff. You're, Chad. Of. you're talking to Chad, Chad the Chad, firelighter. Chad, Chad. Yeah. 
Yes. Steve gets experience points. What if... <laughs> look, wait, I don't know how holy water works. I've never used it for anything like this before. Yeah. Do you think we should hold him down and chain him to the bed and he, then make him drink the holy water? I think he's, he's already belted he's to already the bed. He's already belted to the bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, good. Yeah, just get in there and do, do, do your thing. Can, Go fo- nuts up there. Follow, just, your, follow your heart, Diarrhea improvise. Jr. No wrong answers. Well, uh, can you help? Free service that brings you a kit of food that you can cook and make it on your own, and it's only $10 a meal. But here's the deal. They've never given me any. Right. I think uh, they sent them to Dan Harmon. I actually ended up eating some of the food out of it because Dan doesn't really cook at home so much. Now, Dan's just like a grizzly bear. He probably just ate right through the box and didn't even cook the food. Well, you'd be surprised because it turns out it was easy enough for even a novice like him to prepare in 30 minutes or less. So He's he had really, really lazy, though. You're telling me that he opened up boxes and put things in pans? Hey! One can use HelloFresh oh, to success in the dinner table. Even tiny spirits like you? Even tiny sprightly gnomes and other elfin creatures from woodlands. Do you get the same size meal, Lumpkins? Because you're, you're so diminutive in, in size. I do, but they last much, much longer, so I save money. Wow, you're beating the system, Lumpkins. I'm a hero. For $30 off your first week of HelloFresh, visit HelloFresh.com and enter the code HarmonTown30, HarmonTown30, to get $30 off your first week of HelloFresh. The, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, well, that's, what, it's not an impasse, that's the thing. Okay, so here's why, you kids, when, when, when the, when, when, when Grandpa, when Grandpa that made Rick and Morty and it's, oh, it's such a bummer, why is he such a cuck, like, like, what? <laughs> What, what are you doing? Why are you talking about politics? Why you make this great cartoon that's like, oh, it speaks to, 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 to the very heart of my uh, alt-right or, or Bernie Kratt or Hillary-loving or Trump-loving ass. Yeah, because I'm a genius, and it's called resonant storytelling and timeless character craftsmanship and, and, and Justin Roiland's coattails, and it's... <laughs> There's a delicate recipe also, that a lot only of, I know. A lot of the background art looks like dicks, balls, and vaginas. <laughs> but uh, when, you're, when you're all bummed out, like, oh, why are you, oh, you used to be so fun. I'm sure that's not true, first of all. I'm sure, <laughs> I don't remember, but I don't think I was like a laugh a minute when I was not political. I, I, I was probably just gross or something. I was probably just going like, is it me or bananas uh, uh, d- 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 f- fitting in your ass wrong or something? I, that sounds fun. I, I, I couldn't riff at a thing. I didn't want to like... But, but like, like, like which, you got, which end is the wrong end of the banana to put in your ass first, do you think? The banana is the atheist's worst nightmare. Google it. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, the, uh, like, when you're all bummed out and you're going, like, Dan, what is politics? The, see, here's why you're doing that. Here's why you're thinking that. And I understand this because you're, you're younger than me, and, so, and it's, I'm not it's implying that when you get older, you know more. I'm saying, like, I've lived longer. So if you've lived longer, so imagine like you're listening to a, uh, a 10 minute uh, song, okay? And so, and you're, you walk into the room and it's been playing for eight minutes, but now you're hearing your first minute of it. If, if the people that have been in that room, at a certain point you, 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 you reacted to him as if he had like interrupted you or something. I, I think it's kind of like, or like he had made a, a, a good point that allowed you to, 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 to well, that's well, a different like matter. He, he was listening, but he slightly uh, zoned out. Like I, right, like maybe he snored or something, and yeah. you're like, well, speaking of that, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I, I thought he was still awake. So then he did some motion that I'm like, you, you, you how what could I'm you, saying? what in the yeah. weekend at Bernie's? Were you talking like, about fire? Escape? No, I was talking about, well, we worked together at the time on Mansers, and I was saying stuff like, do, do people at work like me? Am, am I annoying? <laughs> and I, I think, like, I was trying to get validation that people liked me at work, so I, I was, like, confused, because they treated me weird there. So I'm like, hey, come on, they like me, right? And I think he phased out at a certain point. <laughs> but I was so, in, in, I was so uh, passionate about what I was talking about that I didn't notice he passed out. So... Yeah, you guys saw that. You saw me. I, I mean, he was awake two seconds ago. Yeah. And then in those two seconds, he fell asleep. Well, thank you for saying the words pass out so that we could all remember to mock yeah. you for that same thing oh, from okay. like 11 years ago. <laughs> Look, I, it was weird because you guys looked over at the right comedic moment where it was funny. No, for no. Me. We were watching you for 45 minutes. Like, <laughs> there was no, it wasn't a window. Uh, oh, we got, got it just the right time. Like, planet Earth. Like, oh, man, that, no. that orca okay, just leapt up. We, for can, real. Uh, we, yeah. we, we, we were all playing it cool, but marveling. Like, <laughs> you you kind of had your head down and you were making a point about Ben Folds 5 or something. <laughs> and so with some record 
or whatever, and, and he was completely oh, yeah. oh, dead. He was a, you were trying to a, a corpse, and, and, and we're like, you're like wait, he's in heaven right now. Uh, man, I'm so embarrassed. I mean, because the weird thing is later when you guys said you were watching the whole time, I was like, I didn't remember. I yeah. Like I, I did talk to him, but I mean, we I were all we were. Asleep. It was the end of a very long drunken party, so right, everybody right. gets a pass on that one. But it was it was it was delightful. It sounds like we're making fun of you. It, it was it kind <laughs> of what, not, for you guys. It was delightful. I mean, I don't. I was like, no, oh, but yeah, it, I, it was almost like watching a, a superhero. Like 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 you you. you well, that's weird. I mean, we make fun of like like I look. I was thinking about. I can it. talk to people while they sleep. I'm a superhero. I I like I I was because I'm writing this treatment and there's this character in the thing that uh, Mike McMahon and I are talking about and like we're we're talking about the character and we're like oh he's a he's a character that's kind of deluded himself and like and then we're talking about that and uh, and then we're it was like we we it was like we. We, we, I started. To, I was like, I was like, wait, yeah, you know, it's like, it's like he's living in his dreams. He's living as this character. He's living in his dreams, and as, as a, but, and it's like it's a fine line between that and living a lie. And I think the the, the difference is. Well, what are you making other people lie? And if they say that you're lying, do you get mad at them? And I was like, oh, that's, I think that we would all admit if the stakes weren't so high that there is this half of our president or 25% that was like, like, like we're, we kind of marvel at his absolute fucking like, like, uh, by the house. Oh. Cause he's like threatening it. Well, like he was trying to stab you. Well, I, I, I want to do a move where I like jump to the window and, Kick him. All right. You jump through the window and you try to kick him, but you just jump in the window. <laughs> now you're inside, but you know, your kick missed and he like whirls around. He's like, ah. All right. Uh, Jeff's turn now. I, I, I run upstairs to that room. All right. You do that. Um, is, it, is the door open? Uh, where where you are, where Steve is, is kind of like the landing of the house. It's not a room. It's just kind of open. Uh-huh. So that's you're both standing in that. And then there's two closed bedroom doors. Uh, do I know which one Tom is in? Like whatever. You know which one was the kids' room because you were there. Earlier. Okay, I, I I open that door. All right, you do that. Is that is that the end of my turn? Uh, the kid, well, you see the kid. He's 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 still belted to the bed. He doesn't seem awake though. But, but Tom's not there. No, Tom is in the landing with Steve. Uh, can I keep looking, or is that the end of my action? Uh, what are you looking for? Tom. He's with Steve. He's on the oh, landing. Oh, so I was just there. Yeah. Okay, I take out my holy water and throw it at him. All right. It hits him. Wait, does it hit him? It hits him right in the eye. <laughs> you, see, you see the... Wait, what kind of... What, what, is, what is the holy water in? Uh, like, I, like a wine skin, I just like, squ- I squeeze it and squirt it at him. Okay. Um, I, it, I swear I had a five gallon uh, drum of it somewhere. But you, you had holy water, but you used it, and I think you marked it off in your sheet, but you don't have the current sheet. Uh, I was just doing a callback. To oh, the... sorry, everybody. Yeah. Right, because the sparkles. Yeah, the, the, sp- yeah, the sparkles yeah. guy stole your holy water. Sorry, it's everybody. not your fault. My joke didn't land. They w- if they would have laughed. I'm sorry, Dan's laughed. joke didn't land. No. <laughs> um, no. Uh, uh, what? Sorry. Sorry. So, yeah, so I, no, I, no. I, 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 I like, like you take my wine. Right in the roll. eye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he stumbles backwards and lands on his back. Um, he's like, ah, ah, water's in my eye. <laughs> See, that's the thing about hitting them in the eye with the holy water. You still don't know if they're uh, evil. Because they're like, ah, there's water in I my eye. I was so sure that he was evil. <laughs> his flesh doesn't, um, you know, uh, like steam like a vampire's or whatever, you know? And by the way, meta, meta gaming table talk, but the fucking guy that we talked to, the friar had shit all over his face. I'm not saying that makes you a bad person, but he was like paranoid and crazy. All right. I don't know if he had shit all over his face. Also, you did throw holy water at him. The friar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've kind of... <laughs> see, this is what I do. I yeah. alienate. <laughs> so it, that was great. That was so much fun. Go back and listen to that. Episode. Oh, I, I will. Okay. Oh, I mean, with we, we, we tried holy water on the kid before, right? Dan missed, but then I mopped his brow with the, with the thing, and that didn't. Yeah. It kind of didn't do much, it right? It did some damage to him. Oh. I mean, we can damage the kid all we want. Like we're we're great at that. <laughs> <laughs> Diarrhea. Go check on the kid. I walk into the room where the kid is. All right. The kid seems asleep. Oh. Well. Where's the wife? 
Does he does he look does he seem sick? He seems asleep. He doesn't yeah, he doesn't seem healthy. Is Who, Bonnie the wife there? Who's got eyes on the wife? the wife? No one sees the wife. I need a 10 on the wife. <laughs> wait. A 10? So wait, Jeff hit the kid in the 20. eye with holy water and he's now asleep? No, I Jeff hit the Tom in the eye with the holy dad. water. Oh, okay. Well, I want to take my glass jar of holy water and pour it on the kid. All right. <laughs> Isn't he the one that's like sort of possessed? Yeah. yeah. What? I can't hear you. I'm on the landing. <laughs> he, he gets experience points for, for, for doing that. Who? Je- Dan? Dan, yeah. for, for oh, knowing that he couldn't hear. Yeah. Him. You get experience points for being on the landing. <laughs> or wait, wait, wait. Jeff. Yes. Let's sidebar I you. I mean, who's Jeff? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoa. Jeff gets experience points. <laughs> who's this Jeff? You're Chad. Of? You're talking to Chad, Chad the Chad, firelighter. Chad, Chad. Yeah. Yes. Steve gets experience points. What if... <laughs> Look, I don't know how holy water works. I've never used it for anything like this before. Yeah. Do you think we should hold him down and chain him to the bed and he, then make him drink the holy water? I think he's he's already belted. He's to already the bed. belted to the bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, good. Yeah, just get in there and do, do, do your thing. Can, Go fo- nuts up there. Follow just, your follow your heart, diary junior. No wrong answers. Well, uh, can you? Help? All right. All right. Um, are, you, are you calling out to me? <laughs> Wait, you're not in the room? No, no. I'm, in, I'm in the landing. But I, I hear him and I go into the room with him. Yeah, right. it's a small house. It's a small yeah. house. Okay, so now I'm, come, I'm, come in here and help me hold this kid's mouth right, open. I, I, I go to the kid and, I, and I, I pry his jaw open and his head and hold his mouth open. Like, like a I ba- take out my glass jar. Like a baby I bird. I pop open the lid and I start pouring it down his throat. All right, all right. That happens. <laughs> We wait with wild expectation to wait, see wait. what the result... You should, you should close his mouth and make him I, swallow. I close it and shake his head like a popper in Mexico. <laughs> like a, you do that. Um, he starts frothing. You Steam starts shooting out of his body. Um, steam starts shooting out of his body. And you feel a sharp, terrible pain in your... Uh, what do you call it? Ankles. <laughs> you forgot Ankles. All right. You remembered oh, ankles? It. So we didn't have a 20 on the wife winding down. People are getting kind of high. There's like maybe nine people. We're tired. We're just, there's just a bunch of out of shape wizards like sitting in this the kind of like main area. Because it, it was a full, it was a full on wizard dance party. It was just was wizards like, just dancing. Yeah, dude, it was fun, man. I had a great time. A I of, love like, seeing wizards. All of parties. our mana has worn down. We're regenerating it. Uh, and, uh, and we're just talking. And, and at some point, somebody goes like, all right, I'm going to keep talking to you like this. Because I don't want to make a big deal out of it, but I want you <laughs> to, at some point, look over <laughs> to the other room where it was Rob, wasn't it? Where Abed is sitting in a director chair, like next to uh, our friend Rod Hasler, who is also sitting in a director's chair. Only, like at that point, like Rod, he's like, like watch. Abed is talking to Rod, and Rod, excuse me. Rod is just, he's falling asleep. Like, he's not all the way asleep. But, but like, he keeps, his head keeps, like, like, it's all, like, if you were talking to somebody and you, and they were, and they went like that. He was slightly awake. Like, wouldn't you, I mean, was, you would, you would, at some point. Maybe it's, it's, he's a bad listener. And, but, but, but the, but that's where heroism comes in. Like, but, I, my, I, like but by the time that that passed around to me and like, everybody just look over there. Don't make a big deal. And I looked over and Rod was completely comatose. It kept getting funnier and funnier. It says his head was dangling like an apple on an old Well, that's my fault. The story like, got his more boring. head was like parallel yeah. to story the floor. Getting, like, there was no mistaking this man for conscious. Like, I, I went but, to work stories. And, and also there was a point because you were talking and like everyone was watching you but we couldn't quite hear what you were saying but there was a point where you were you were his head was just dangling over the arm of the chair and 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 we were and as we were all watching you and then at a certain point you 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 reacted to him as if he had like interrupted you or something i think it's kind of like or like he had made a a, a good point that allowed you to to to, to well that's well, a different like matter he, he was listening but he slightly uh, zoned out like i right like maybe he snored or something and yeah. you're like well speaking of that <laughs> no, I, I thought he was still awake so then he did some motion that i'm like you how you could you? Saying. What in the yeah. weekend at Bernie's? Were you talking like, about Farscape? No, I was talking about. Well, we worked together at the time on Mansers, and I was saying stuff like, "Do, do people at work like me? Am, am I annoying?" <laughs> and I, I think like I was trying to get validation that people liked me at work, so I I was like confused because they treated me weird there. 
So I'm like, hey, come on, they like me, right? And I think he phased out at a certain point. <laughs> but I was so, in, in, I was so uh, passionate about what I was talking about that I didn't notice he passed out. So, yeah, you guys saw that. You saw me, I, I mean, he was awake two seconds ago. Yeah. And then in those two seconds, he fell asleep. Well, thank you for saying the words pass out so that we could all remember to mock yeah. you for that same thing okay. from like 11 <laughs> years ago. Look, I, it was weird because you guys looked over at the right comedic moment where it was funny. No, for no. Me. We were watching you for 45 minutes. Like, when, there was no... It wasn't... A, I feel like maybe... I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> Should I not? I'm just thinking that there's a trend where I read this while Dan's occupied, and I think we're playing into that trope if I start right now. Thank you. You That's know? nice of you to notice. All right. So I'm in the D&D Dan, you, channel. Dan, do you want to put your little uh, fidget spinner down for a minute while we... No, uh, no, he's... He, oh, yeah, I guess that is a solution. Well, what's new in Steve's world? Yeah, let's catch up with Levy for a You're moment. You're wearing shorts. Levy, you look what great. What the fuck's going on? You, you look fantastic in a nice, nice wintry pink. Uh, you, did, uh, did you know that? I do now, I guess. Yeah. You, you, look, a little, you look a little wiped out. A little beleaguered. Your jacket nice. looks tucked into your shorts. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. It's not, yeah. You okay, Steve? Yeah, just... just a, little, a little tired? A little tired. What happened? Long day? Yeah, long, long weekend. Holiday weekend. Yeah. Just beginning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not, I, not for me. It doesn't feel that way. No? No. You got to go back to work tomorrow? Uh, Steve always works. Yeah. Spencer, actually, he covered for me all day Friday, and I love him for that. Thank you. Right. Steve always works, unless he doesn't. Okay, um, I have my character sheet up, and I and I and I'll just multitask between that and the Slack to look at the PDF of uh, of the uh, spell sheet, and I'll and uh, you know I'll, every once in a while I'll pass this photo of Levy and get a boner, but I, I'll, <laughs> that's just gonna have to be like a little handicap that I. Uh, a, a, a capability, a different ability. Which picture? Which picture do you think you, you could more successfully masturbate to—the original of that woman, or the or the the edited Steve Levy one? No, for sure the Levy one because I, I yeah, know for th- sure. I'll, I'll, in my heart, I'll be like, even like it, 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 it's like she was. You know, the only reason I have her photo is because she was like she was bragging about the savings that we've made by not not not. Uh, you know, caring enough of, as much about the UN. And Steve, which photo of Dan do you think would be the easiest to masturbate to? Uh, <laughs> Probably that one with his balls, it's right? So, oh, it's, no. it, it, it's, so, it's so easy to embarrass Steve Levy. It's almost unfair. No, I know. It's great. That's yeah. why I brought him up. When you, yeah. We, That's I, like a, yeah, every, every group text, like, like, no matter what anybody says, it's like a, tr- like a hair trigger. You're going to get the uh, monkey with the its... The see uh, no evil monkey. Yeah. yeah you, you, you get shy monkeys. And if it's really embarrassing, because like, there's also the thing that Cody and Dan, occasionally me, there's a picture of Dan with his balls out that we it, just said... It, we, it we, got we, worse. It got worse a couple of weeks ago, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. We, we like to, Cody and I like to trick Steve into looking at my genitals. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, like Cody will take pictures of me in hotel rooms and stuff and then I had there was a hotel and it had like a uh, he had like a thing that was like uh, sucking there without no no everybody should have a gun thing. okay got it I get it I get it there's almost an honesty there like I don't know if they believe it or not but their message is transparent they're going oh 20 kids got shot so everyone should have a gun. There is no hidden agenda. That video, they're saying, they're pretending that they think that because police can't quell disruption enough on their own without causing more of it, that if there's any psychos out there with their ears on, you might want to just start DIYing it. That might actually work. That's the unspoken implication is like, you should, you should jump in because the government's hands are tied. They're cucked out, man. Like, like they're, they gotta, they gotta do these Mirandas and all these things. And well, and then if the minute they poke some of the stick, if they're wearing a badge, then there's more protest. It's like, it's crazy. So, you know, and then they end it with like, now more than ever, you gotta just like, you gotta fucking hit. So what they're, so it's like, they're saying to their base, like, if you're out of your goddamn mind and you pop off, uh, it could be the solution. And they know that that's not true. They know that that person will go to prison and they know there will be even more dis- uh, disruption and, 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 and embroilment <laughs> and civil war and stuff. And they, I, I, I mean, I, they, just like, like, it's almost 
admirable in its villainy. I mean, they're so committed. Like, I'm pretty sure like they're about six months from going, okay, now we've been putting this off for 60 years. We're finally going to like put one foot on each dolphin here and we're going to start m being actively marketing to liberals as well. Because they're going to they're gonna have another video come up. Man, it's open season on you motherfuckers. You, it's like you can't go to a protest these days without worrying about who's going to shoot you. Am I right? Well, they already did that. You bought a gun. Uh, they already did it to me. It's, that's, yeah. that's, that's the, it's called white male fragility, not white male endurance. I'm, I'm not going to be the last person to buy a gun. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm like that little mercury thing that explodes when something gets a little too hot because uh, uh, there's a fire. But you're like, you haven't even have you, have you shot it yet? Have you taken? Why would I? I didn't get it to shoot it. I got it to wait till someone shoots me. Yeah, but you're gonna get it. <laughs> so, someone's gonna come on your doorstep with a burning pitchfork, and because uh, that's the thing. You think pitchforks are dangerous? <laughs> when you light the tips of the pitchfork on fire, oh you, my god, you, you got a real. A real problem on your hands. Yeah, I mean, a, in, in ancient times, uh, angry mobs needed torches and pitchforks. It was a mess. Yeah, and then uh, it took us like, why did it take us so long? It was, oh, I think it was Eli Whitney yeah. who found out that if you combine fire and the pitchfork, you get a flaming trident, the yeah. ultimate angry mob and the, facilitator. And if you can combine that with riding two dolphins at the same time, you're yeah. you you might be the most terrifying individual <laughs> in mythology. <laughs> Just Dan. hear those sleigh bells tingling, a ring ting tingling too. Dan's got ice stuck to his what, what, bottle. I've never seen that much ice stick cup. to anything. <laughs> it's. <laughs> well, should we bring up our? Let's bring up two of our friends so we can. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Let's bring up Abed Gaith and Kelly Fontecchio. Yeah. Ke Kelly. Kelly and Abed. But, oh Hello. my God! Look at that, Cali Kazoo and what Real Abed too. It's a double whammy. There's a cloud underneath this crazy. What the <laughs> it's fuck? It's a cloud of going? ice. A cloud of ice. Did you Did not I notice Kelly? that? I was, I was focused sitting? on the Fontecchio, and I was like, "You I'm got gonna, the last I'm thing right, which is a big, like a big, uh, we'll a you know, that's you a big achievement." <laughs> I've never said your last name. <laughs> Thank you. You said it correctly. He, he said it now, just now. Yeah. Right? Were you I named? I mean, we, we're both. We both have unpronounceable names. Were you named after Kali, like the the god of destruction or whatever? Goddess of death. Always yeah. shake his hand when I come up. Okay. There right. you go. Well, Sorry, I had to do that. Glad we didn't miss ritual. that moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like two seconds. No, it was important. Very important. I did it every time I, I came up here. So. As including now. Keep the tradition going. Eat that mic. All right. Thanks. It's right here. Callie, you're looking very smart with your fuzzy uh, Simpsons bag there. Thank you. you. It's a uh, Soma and uh, Patty. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. My favorite part is their unshaved legs. Zelma and yeah, Patty. Did, did, did you, Patty and Zelma. Did you purchase this, or is this something you created? Oh, no, I purchased this. Yeah. It's a purse slash pillow. <laughs> I guess when you pass out at parties, you need that. Yeah. Because then you can just use a pillow that isn't there. Tell me There's it. never a, a pillow. I passed out at a party recently. No oh, pillow. Oh, boy. I remember you talked to a guy who passed out at a party, but you didn't care. It was, Rod, oh, yeah, that was Rod Hassler. Oh, my God. That's just going to... I mean, that story's I'm sure never told going it. away. It's, led, it's like the OK Corral. Or like, it's like you shot a, a match off a buffalo's back or something. It was like, <laughs> why like, the fuck like, does that story keep coming up all the time? I'll tell you why yeah. by telling you the story. You... <laughs> It, it, it was a Halloween party, or no, it was a wizard party, and you yeah. and everybody Everybody came wizard, dressed. Is it where me and Everyone came Laura dressed as like actual wizards, like cone hats, like moons and stars and wands and stuff and, like uh, that. And me and Justin, we just went to a thrift store and found random shit, and then he was the wizard of cell phone technology, <laughs> and I was the wizard of the past or something. So, I had like an Indian outfit, I mean a Native American outfit. Oh shit, sorry. So the party's winding down, people are getting kind of high, there's like maybe nine people, we're tired, we're just, there's just a bunch of out of shape wizards like sitting in this the kind of like main area Because it was party. a full, it was a full it on was, wizard dance party, it was just was wizards like, just dancing. Yeah dude, it was fun man, I had a great time. A I of, love like, seeing wizards All of parties. our mana has worn down, we're regenerating it. Uh, and, uh, and we're just talking, and, we're and, and at some point, son. Yeah. Who's the best church in... The world. Uh, no. All right, you know what? We'll sell you later. Yeah. 
I head upstairs. Okay, I, I, I fill him in and say, oh, by the way, uh, we poured holy water down this kid's mouth. The mom is angry. She's underneath the bed. She just sliced us in the ankles like a prison fight. Okay, are the, are the spirits emanating? They're already emanated. They've oh, already, interesting. They're, 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 it's, this is post-emanation. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, and... Uh, I mean, look, I, I don't want to point out the obvious. I don't, I don't want to ghost explain, but uh, there's, a ghost, <laughs> there's a ghost fighting what we think is the spirit of the dead brother, Archer, and they're duking it out on the, on the mortal plane right now. Right. Well, I think we should help <laughs> the good ghost. Are you bleeding from your ankle? Yeah, I took three damage. I'm, I, I, I eat a good berry. <laughs> Wait, do you? <laughs> yeah, I eat some good berries. All right. Do I see Bonnie? Uh, no, you don't see anything under the bed. How, how much healing do I take from the good berries? Well, each good berry you eat gives you one health, so it's up to you how many you want to eat. I eat three. Then you gain three health. Okay. So I'm, I'm good to go. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I, I got to get some new socks tomorrow, but I, I'm... Uh... <laughs> I mean, as long as we're still talking, who who cut your ankles? There's a crazy lady under the bed. I mean, there's a lady under the bed. Yeah, the mom. I mean, like she might be just protecting her family, but it's a weird instinct to have a knife underneath a bed. <laughs> I don't I don't really like her style. Yeah. I, I, I mean, seriously, we need to keep an eye on her. We we have to keep you know, just don't get too close to the bed. Diarrhea. Get the lady out from under the bed. Uh. I look under the bed for the lady. All right. Uh, well, describe I, that action. It, don't, don't look with your face. I don't. <laughs> I, I'm like, you know, like five feet away, and I okay. look to see if she's under there. Yeah, she's under there. She's <laughs> crouched up like a, like a big green tarantula. All right, so I, I take my slingshot, and I load it up, <laughs> and All I right. shoot her in the head. <laughs> Not hard, just like, you know, like... We said no wrong answers. What's your attack bonus on the slingshot? Do you see that? Plus four. All right, you hit her. You hit her in the face. All right. With what, like a rock? And while I'm assuming... While she's in pain, I want to pull her out from under the bed. All right, that happens. (laughs) All right, guys, I think I have it under control. I, I, I... can I? Can we do like a perception check on her, or like a sense motive? Like, like is she, is she evil, or is she being is she, yeah. just being a, a good mom? Way meta, meta gaming table talk. But the fucking guy that we talked to, the friar, had shit all over his face. I'm not saying that makes you a bad person, but he was like paranoid and crazy. All right. I don't know if he had shit all over his face. Also, you did throw holy water at him. The friar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've kind of see. This is what I do. I yeah. alienate. So it, that was great. That was so much fun. Go back and listen to that. Episode. Oh, I, I will. Okay. Oh yeah. So the holy, the, the holy water has oh, no no effect other than just being water in this guy's eyeballs. No. Yeah. Well, it knocked him over. The holy water. The force of the holy water knocked him over. Yeah, it hit him right in the eye, and he fell. It hit backwards. him in the eye. I mean, what you of all people should know. I didn't. You, a guy punched me at a Nick Cave concert. I didn't fall down. I just spilled my drinks and bled all over my suit. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, and we spent the episode talking about Abed. Yeah. Uh, you know, he talked to a guy while he was asleep. Yeah. <laughs> um, I... Well, it's, pro- it's probably the end of my turn. The, the, uh, you can move, but yeah, more I, 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 I get on top of him and try to subdue him. Like, I, t- I take some rope out and try to, like, like bind him. All right, well, you go to do that. Okay. You, you can't quite start up, but you get in his space, so you're kind of, like, threatening him, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, he, he just starts crying. He doesn't try and fight or anything anymore. He just starts crying. <laughs> okay. Is it? Whose turn? Dan, sorry. Oh. Uh, what's this... G- I only know this guy's name is Tom, right? It's Tom Fell. Tom he, he, Fell. he fell from grace. He's right. a, he's a, we, we think he's a baddie. Tom Fell of what's the town's name? Roan. Tom Fell of Roan. You have many enemies. We might be your only friends. You must tell us the truth. <laughs> uh, he's just crying. He's like, whatever. <laughs> just leave me alone. Leave us alone. Nah, that's not gonna work. that never works. Yeah, you look around. 
So I spent my spent my turn. Uh, no, you can still do some talking. Okay. Well, uh, I just want to. Uh, uh, what if I? Okay, let do, me. Don't you have some me, sort of clerical healing or let like, me try like this. evil casting out kind of abilities or no? Well, you know, I'm not. Uh, look, I, let me try. Is he damaged to the point where like can I like don't I have like. Uh, like, like maybe I can get in this guy's good graces with like just to and make him understand that that we're we're civil servants, you know. Like, if I were to go, if I were to just, you know, wait, where's the okay? Like, uh, what is it? Well, if I just use that channel thing, and I just go, can I just heal him? Yeah. He's not. He's not damaged. Yeah. He feels. Uh, money. Uh, so Roger Waters got a big ninety-year-old cock. He's got a giant baton in his pants, or he's so vain that he puts like a flashlight down there because it's important. Maybe that's like a holdover from '60s rock. He's like, well, you got to do it. Everybody does it. Yeah, yeah I mean, you got to stuff, ladies. He, he, people did stuff. He yeah. might have. He might. He might be an old school stuffer. Yeah, he's probably not even thinking about it. It's like you know, we should have him on the show and find out whether. He, pardon. You know people oh, yeah. that are on tour with him? Can you, All right, can well, you text him right now and find out how big his dick is? <laughs> All right. I've got a little black book with my poems in it. Got a bag, got a toothbrush, and a comb. Stephen Nicks? Mm. <laughs> All right. That was uh, some stuff I talked about at that weird show we did last week at that freaky Chris Hardwick uh, cult meeting uh, yeah. that we went to in that the was middle weird. of... Yeah, of we, we met out in the woods, and uh, 90% of the crowd was dressed as stormtroopers or me seeks. It was pretty wild. I'll go wherever Hardwick tells me to go. It's, it's called the patriarchy. Look it up. Like, uh... uh <laughs> It's 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 his 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 he's a hard wick. I would I would go if if he was if he was a soft wick. I would I would listen to him ten percent less. And uh, if he had no wick at all, f- nope, can't be president. Uh, oh, not funny. To, uh, okay, <laughs> too true. Okay, just a little. It started out as simple wordplay and penis jokes turned into a, a, a negatively resonant uh, late motif for the ladies and the men that support them. It wasn't like there was a bunch of guys going, ha, 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 women can't be president. We got, we got a lot of enlightened people here. I'm sorry I hurt you. You're probably very excited then about that, uh, the, um, the fact that the 25th Amendment is now going to be invoked because he tweeted a meme uh, with a CNN thing on it. Oh, yeah? We're all just so, like, fucking, we're like, no, it's not, what are you talking, just stop. I think this, is, this was, like, the big turning point. Like, I saw people on Twitter being like, even saying to guys I really like, like Keith Olbermann and stuff, they were just going like, like Keith Olbermann going, look, this is it. They tweeted a meme with a CNN and there's a wrestler hitting him and we, got, we must now for the 700th time, we must do something about this man. And then just like a couple people tweeting like, this is just a, like a sideshow now. Like, I don't even want to do this anymore. Like this thing where we pretend like you can stop the Antichrist. Like it's not, let's just enjoy it. It's biblical. Let's just enjoy it. I think, I think it, I, I, it's, it's, it's not a cheery thought, but I was thinking today when I, I, I had the same reaction to that. It's like, like we're going to look back fondly on today, like on these days, because he's not a professional tyrant. The next designed to take around 30 minutes for everyone from novices to seasoned home cooks shortened on time to crazy gnomes after me uh, various items. They use the freshest ingredients measured to the exact quantities needed so there's no food waste and uh, it comes to your doorstep in a recyclable insulated box for free. Right. You so get a free a box. box. I mean, I, 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 I know people that go to HelloFresh just for the free box. I mean, the fact actually, that it's filled with delicious farm to table food is, a, is a, just an added bonus. Right. The box is at least a $10 value, I'd say. But it turns out it's less than $10 a meal with HelloFresh. What? And they employ two full-time registered dietitians on staff who review each recipe to ensure it's nutritionally balanced. Now, Jeff, you seem to understand a lot about this for a guy who wanted me to explain it to him. I'd love to tell you all about my wonderful experience with HelloFresh, the food delivery service that brings you a kit of food that you can cook and make it on your own, and it's only $10 a meal, but here's the deal. 
They've never given me any. Right. I think uh, they sent them to Dan Harmon. I actually ended up eating some of the food out of it because Dan doesn't really cook at home so much. Now, Dan's just like a grizzly bear. He probably just ate right through the box and didn't even cook the food. Well, you'd be surprised because it turns out it was easy enough for even a novice like him to prepare in 30 minutes or less. So He's he had really, really lazy, though. You telling me that he opened up boxes and put things in pans? Hey! can use hello fresh to success in the dinner table even tiny spirits like you even tiny sprightly gnomes and other elfin creatures from woodlands do you get the same size meal lumpkins because you're you're so diminutive in, in size i do but they last much much longer so i save money wow you beating the system lumpkins I'm a hero. For $30 off your first week of HelloFresh, visit HelloFresh.com and enter the code HarmonTown30, HarmonTown30, to get $30 off your first week of HelloFresh. The, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, well, that's what, it's not an impasse. That's the thing. Okay, so here's why. You kids, when, 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 the, when, when, when grandpa, when grandpa that made Rick and Morty and it's, oh, it's such a bummer. Why is he such a cuck? Like, like, what? <laughs> What, what are you doing? Why are you talking about politics? Why you make this great cartoon that's like, oh, it speaks to, 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 to the very heart of my uh, alt-right or, or Bernie Kratt or Hillary-loving or Trump-loving ass. Yeah, because I'm a genius, and it's called resonant storytelling and timeless character craftsmanship and, and, and Justin Roiland's coattails, and it's... <laughs> There's a delicate recipe also, that a only lot of, I know. A lot of the background art looks like dicks, balls, and vaginas. <laughs> but when you're, when you're all bummed out, like, oh, why are you, oh, you used to be so fun. I'm sure that's not true, first of all. I'm sure, I don't remember, but I don't think I was like a laugh a minute when I was not political. I, I, I was probably just gross or something. I was probably just going like, is it me or bananas uh, uh, d- 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 fitting in your ass wrong or something? I, that sounds fun. I, I, I couldn't riff at a thing. I didn't want to like... But you're poor and you want to get into space, just jump. <laughs> if you believe in yourself, you should be able to fly. Uh, well, technically, you know. No, no egghead. You fucking sell out, you traitor. Jew! <laughs> I know it. I haven't checked my chart yet. But you got that fucking Jurassic Park vibe. <laughs> Wh- which character? Which character? G- Goldblum? Yeah, the, the Stegosaurus. <laughs> you better wake up, motherfucker. <laughs> did you see that fucking holy shit in a bottle? Did you see that NRA video? That was like, whoa! Yeah, see, it's it's over. Like 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 not over. Like like I mean, you over like no, yeah, that, like school's out. Like 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 they're saying like it's over. Everybody get, do what you gotta do. So like that, that, that that's that, a cue for activists. That, to, that video was like what's playing on a TV in the background in RoboCop Two. Like when you when you <laughs> yeah, so much far beyond that. It was, it was crazy. Because and here's the craziest thing about that video to me. When those guys, like, there's a, there's a, when, 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 a, when someone goes into a school and shoots like 20 people, and then their response is, ah, well, I'll tell you this much. If, if the teachers had guns, they would, they, they would only be 10, uh, they would, but yeah, okay, all right, okay. So everybody, everybody should have had a gun. Okay, all right. Well, for a second there without, no, yeah, everybody should have a gun. Okay, got it. I get it. I get it. There's almost an honesty there. Like I don't know if they believe it or not, but their message is transparent. They're going, "Oh, 20 kids got shot, so everyone should have a gun." There is no hidden agenda. That video, they're saying, they're pretending that they think that because police can't quell disruption enough on their own without causing more of it, that. If there's any psychos out there with their ears on, you might want to just start DIYing it. That might actually work. That's the unspoken implication is like, you should, you should jump in because the government's hands are tied. They're cucked out, man. Like, like they're, they gotta, they gotta do these Mirandas and all these things. And well, and then if the minute they poke some of the stick, if they're wearing a badge, then there's more protest. It's like, it's crazy. So, you know, and then they end it with like, now more than ever, you gotta just like, you gotta fucking hit. So what they're, so, it's like they're saying to their base, like if you're out of your goddamn mind and you pop off, uh, it could be the solution. 
And they know that that's not true. They know that that person will go to prison and they know there will be even more dis uh, disruption in, in the military and the Republican Democrat and just out and out like we're, we're, we're having a little bit of a tr problem here that has really actually nothing to do with what we used to call politics because that word has for 44 years has to me has meant the boring thing, the grown-up thing, the, the part of the scam, part of the thing, but politics now, it's like actually like, I mean, there's only, once this stops being the case where everyone's like all freaked out, like, it's not, the, 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 it's gonna be like, peop, you're gonna be wearing like jumpsuits and stuff, and we're gonna be like walking in like stainless steel honeycombs, like uh, deep beneath a Mars station, and they're gonna be being, t well, I'm now I'm making it sound cool. <laughs> We're never going to get to Mars because and, because whoever comes after Trump is going to be like is going to win by opposing gravity. Like as a and people are going to be like, yo, why, why are you libtards always talking about how there's gravity if you want to get to space? <laughs> Can't you see how stupid that is? Oh, uh, here's the here's a, here's a meme of a gorilla going, hmm, I want to go into space. I think I'll say that nothing uh, uh, can go up forever. S -s that's you. <laughs> because, the, because the world will be an ocean and there won't, there, that will, there will, there will be, well, okay, well, we were wrong. Yeah, okay, we were wrong about the polar ice caps, you know, but what's, what is this gravity you're always talking about? I say if you're, if you're poor and you want to get into space, just jump. If you believe in yourself, you should be able to fly. Uh, well, technically, you know, no, no egghead. You fucking sell out, you traitor. Jew? I know it. I haven't checked my chart yet. But you got that fucking Jurassic Park vibe. Wh which character? Which character? G Goldblum? Yeah, the, the Stegosaurus. You better wake up, motherfucker. <laughs> Did you see that fucking holy shit in a bottle? Did you see that NRA video? There was like, whoa, yeah. See, it's it's over. Like 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 not over. Like like I mean, you over like no, yeah, that, like school's out. Like 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 they're saying like it's over. Everybody get, do what you gotta do. So like that, that, that that's a cue for activists. That, to, that video was like what's playing on a TV in the background in RoboCop Two. Like when you when you <laughs> yeah. So much far beyond that. It was, it was crazy. Because, and here's the craziest thing about that video to me. When those guys like there's a there's a when 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 a, a PT Barnum like 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 a uh, devil character from uh, uh, Needful Things was like well uh, I got the bin over here I just, just just hillbilly Nazis would would love you <laughs> Are you sure about that that doesn't seem like a big fit to it's, me It sounds like a great sitcom uh, like 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 no no they're pretty easy here put on this trucker cap and just start saying I'm tired of brown people like like <laughs> It'll catch on, believe me. We're, it's, 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 we're, we're rife for it. And he's like, okay, I'll try it. And it fucking worked, and I'm going to kill myself. All right. <sighs> but, uh, yeah. I was just thinking, you know, it's like these other people are like, oh, oh, look at it. Uh, this is it. This is a deal breaker with the wrestling thing that he tweeted. Cause it, but <laughs> it was like so sad when people are like, because it's violent imagery. Is he promoting violence against journalists? Like, well, don't play into that fucking... He's promoting violence against good Photoshop or After Effects. That was pretty crude. Yeah, and the guy that did it, you know, and then everyone is like, well, look at the last uh, thing this guy did, and it's like some Nazi shit about how everyone at CNN's a Jew or whatever. And that, uh, the, um, the, See, and it's there like, I agree. I agree with him on that one. <laughs> You agree that everyone at CNN's a Jew? I'm kidding. I don't, but according to his chart, I mean, if you only go by that, I don't have any other data. Uh, the, the, it's, it's, it seemed like it was scientific. I, I, the, the, um, the, but it was like, 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 decrying that, I feel like it was like, we, we actually, didn't you kind of feel like when he, when he does something crazy, then it's like, you kind of feel like, I don't know, what am I measuring it by? But it's just kind of like the Twitter zeitgeist. Like you see, a, you, I feel like you see a little spike in people going like, all right, come on, man, knock it off. Get off Twitter. Like people that voted for him going like, come on, you're embarrassing me, you know? <laughs> but, 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 but then the more that we go, 
That's right, he's embarrassing you. And technically, he's in violation of political correctness because that's actual racism if you look it up. And then, and then the person that was like, you're embarrassed me, goes, oh, yeah, I remember why I voted for you. Like, like I, because I feel stupid and barbaric and I'm tired of feeling that way, so instead of improving myself, I pulled a lever that, you know, said I would have to, I could put that off for four years. Uh, <laughs> But that's us too. We're all lazy. We're online. We're, none of us are out there doing fucking mental crunches, like trying to figure out how to be good people. I, I've only gotten to the point where I'm like, I'm just like, oh, I was wrong about everything my entire life. That's possible even when you're a genius. <laughs> so what hope do we have for morons? How, what, how are they going to flip? Like, what are we going to like? Is there going to be an obelisk outside of? Uh, Fucking a uh, trailer park, and like, like everyone that caused this problem is gonna like hear this high pitched whine and touch it, and then throw a fucking uh, spray 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 can <laughs> spray paint can in the air that turns into a a, 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 a job at a solar uh, panel factory. I want you to never stop this metaphor. I want this to go on. <laughs> that was a surprise. We did not expect a different doctor to no. come through the door. Yeah, we, I, I thought maybe like a bouncer from Jerry Springer would come in or something and like go, like, well, you guys got to go. Like, uh, we need this room. I, we didn't really. But a, a new doctor comes in. Hi, I'm Dr. Ruiz. He, he shakes our hands and then he's just looking at the x-rays and, he, and he, he, he acts like there's, but he just, like, like nothing has happened. He goes, he goes like, I'm Dr. Ruiz. So, uh, so we're going to do some exploratory sur surgery on, on Nigel, we're gonna go in and we're gonna pull this foreign body out. Uh, and, and I'm like, what? And, 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 Sp and Spencer says, okay, but uh, what would you say if we told you that the last guy said the exact opposite thing? <laughs> and the guy says, oh no, I know that. I just talked to him. I totally disagree with him. I have a I have a totally second opinion are, are, are about are what to partners? do about your dog. Are, 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 is it is it Anderson and Ruiz like 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 they're like a good cop, the bad their... cop? They're like this is the thing that will plague me forever because this guy was nice and I was like yes now we're talking cut my dog open see you later here's seventeen hundred dollars I'll see you three days from now I should change my dog's life with a scalpel and just walked out skipping and going, and going like by the way that first guy's a prick. But like, 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 what, what, was I my part of some? Were they just like, uh, like, you know, like, you, you know, the, like, like, the guy comes out and he goes like, oh, we gotta, you know, they probably have some veterinarian code for it. Like, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, uh, uh, D, uh, DFI, DFI or whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, that, that's not, like, like, we, we, like, gotcha. Let's cut his dog open and make him pay. And like, <laughs> we, we just is the is the is the second Wait, guy the, the, the is first... the second guy totally inept and love? Do they call him the butcher of Burbank and like? <laughs> Uh, but but he's a, he's a people pleaser and so and so I was our first guy like the Einstein of of of, of dog eat dogs eating shit and, and I was just like fuck man you know like 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 when he's on Charlie Rose Charlie Rose will go what what do you think is the biggest problem facing veterinarian medicine I think it's I think it's the worship of the myth of bedside manner I got to tell you I, I like 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 I I've, I I think we're I think we we we, we these these are patients that can't speak to us and if they could, I, I'm sorry I'm getting upset Charlie and he's like yeah you, well you're doing this thing you sound kind of patriot. See, it's happening again. But I'm telling you, I'm a good fucking dog doctor, and I could have been a brilliant child doctor, but nobody's gonna let me near those little fuckers. <laughs> uh, like, like, so I, so I, so I humble myself. I stoop. I try to do my best. No harm. I come into this stinky hospital. I'm dealing with these little, tiny, scaled-down, disposable patients. Uh, but I'm still a big prick. I'm still the worst guy at the hospital. And he, he's like, he's trying to save you money. He's like, I don't think this is a big deal. Yeah. You're going to talk to Ruiz in, in 45 seconds, and he loves to charge you for it. Yeah. Like, uh, I'll go get Jack the Ripper. Uh, uh, elective, yep. <laughs> elective dog surgery. Oh, you like feeling good about, uh, about yourself? You, know, you want to make a best friend that loves cutting your dog up? I'll go get him. So what happened? Did, 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 did Hi, it's Jeff Davis and Spencer Crittenden uh, here to talk to you about HelloFresh. Uh, Spencer's busy right now trying to pick a piece of cake off of his pants. Oh, who's in this room recording what ads? Oh, no. It's me, Lumpkins, the HelloFresh gnome. Lumpkins? Right. How have you been? I haven't heard from you in a while. Eh, uh, you know, over at HelloFresh, we've been doing bold new things and home dining experiences. Would you tell me all about it while I sit back and enjoy you? Right. Of course, HelloFresh is the meal kit delivery service that makes cooking more fun, so you can focus on the whole experience and not just the final plate. Whoops, hide me! Hey, hey, 
Is there? Is anyone in here? I thought I heard a high-pitched voice. Spencer, your arch nemesis Lumpkins was here just a moment ago. You know he's after my lucky charms. <laughs> really? No. Is it? He's also after copyright infringement. Yeah. That's a good point. Spencer Lumpkins was just in the middle of, of explaining what HelloFresh is. Can you uh, can you expound? Each week, HelloFresh creates delicious new recipes with step-by-step -step instructions designed to take around 30 minutes for everyone from novices to seasoned home cooks shortened on time to crazy gnomes after me uh, various items. They use the freshest ingredients measured to the exact quantities needed so there's no food waste. And uh, it comes to your doorstep in a recyclable insulated box for free. Right. You so get a free box. box. I mean, I... I I, I know people that go to HelloFresh just for the free box. I mean, it the fact that it's filled with delicious farm-to-table food is, a, is a, just an added bonus. Right. The box is at least a $10 value, I'd say. But it turns out it's less than $10 a meal with HelloFresh. What? And they employ two full-time registered dietitians on staff who review each recipe to ensure it's nutritionally balanced. Now, Jeff, you seem to understand a lot about this for a guy who wanted me to explain it to him. I'd love to tell you all about my wonderful experience with HelloFresh the food delivery service that brings you a kit of food that you can cook and make it on your own, and it's only $10 a meal. But here's the deal. They've never given me any. Right. I think uh, they sent them to Dan Harmon. I actually ended up eating some of the food out of it because Dan doesn't really cook at home so much. Now, Dan's just like a grizzly bear. He probably just ate right through the box and didn't even cook the food. Well, you'd be surprised because it turns out it was easy enough for even a novice like him to prepare in 30 minutes or less. So He's he had really, really lazy, though. you telling me that he opened up boxes and put things in pans? Hey! can use HelloFresh oh, to success in the dinner table. Even tiny spirits like you? Even tiny sprightly gnomes and other elfin creatures from woodlands. Do you get the same size meal, Lumpkins? Because you're, you're so diminutive in, in size. I do, but they last much, much longer, so I save money. Wow, you're beating the system, Lumpkins. I'm a hero. For $30 off your first week of HelloFresh, visit HelloFresh.com and enter the code HarmonTown30, HarmonTown30, to get $30 off your first week of HelloFresh. The, uh, yeah, uh, oh. comedy festival, and he came on stage as a show he did. I might, I might have the date wrong, but it was called Modern Problems in Science or something like that. And they, they would, <laughs> it was him and a couple other guys, and they would just get a theory, that they would have, that they, that, and they would get three different schools of scientific thought and they would prove or disprove that theory. And his was Russian literature. And he clearly <laughs> didn't, didn't Sounds know. Sounds like him. He clearly had never read any Russian literature. <laughs> but committed to it so fucking hard that it was like, I, I watched it and go, that's the funniest improv I've ever seen. Well, I, I met him because I was his stand-in on Crossballs, hosted by Chris Tallman. Because yeah. you guys have a similar kind of Well, profile. I was his stand-in and he heard about me being uh, quite a, I, I just was talking the whole time. And Matt Besser told me to shut up. And it was like really crazy like experience. And then everyone falls just like, oh, you're the guy that was my stand-in. Everyone said you were weird. Oh, yeah, you should plug your, you have a podcast with him. Yeah, I have too. a podcast with him on Feral Wait, can, Audio. Can you keep doing your Rich Vulture impression? No, it's pretty no, good. Well, oh, yeah, it's really, it's just it's like really laid so back. Oh, that's and, okay. Like, Speaking of other superpowers, I, I don't know how this will translate to a podcast, but remember at a party one time, you can do impressions of people, but not verbally. You can just visual you can, impressions. He, he can embody you, like yeah, he, he, yeah. I can embody he, you. Like, 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 like he'll do visual impressions of of like like do, like, do, do Dan Harmon. Like, like give, give us some Dan Harmon. Well, I, I got a lot of things to say about the president. It, it's really crazy because <laughs> you guys are gonna like what I say. Okay, here we go. The, the president. I mean, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> he's, he's a little fucked up. All right. Yeah. All right. Now, now do What's me. Do, do do Jeff Davis. Oh, yeah, now, uh, uh, the thing about it is, uh, Abed, so you do a character like Rich Fulcher, and uh, uh, I just got to see it for a second. Uh, hold on. Oh, wait. Uh, all right, yeah, now do it. Do it now. <laughs> okay, now do Ted Knight. <laughs> oh, Mary. Oh, God. Oh, Mary, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm a Ted Knight. And no, oh, Mary. He, he's I'm just like saying Monroe. the name of the person. <laughs> now do, can you do Callie? Can you do a Callie? <laughs> A show to make. Get to work. What? So, so she's Minnie Mouse. I love is that. that. What like I Minnie sound Mouse, like? yeah. Is that what well, I sound it, like? She's what? easy to do because she's a character. You know, oh, you have to be you. a character. It's easier to do. Oh, yeah, if you really Google acting with Abed, and you'll see a uh, young Jeff and a young oh, Dan. That's old. And that's it, really old. they all turn on Abed because oh, yeah. Abed's trying to teach me, yeah. you guys acting. All right. Yeah. You guys all and Justin yeah, Roiland yeah. and everybody. You come after me because of a real conversation we had. 
Right. You're like, told you. you're like, oh, uh, no, I'm really intimidated by you. Uh, uh. Yeah, and I told you that at Rob's house, and then Rob goes, D- don't say that. Why are you saying that to him? Oh, wait, wait, do your Rob impression. Yeah, give us some Rob shrub. Oh, uh, 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 Abed, what are you doing? No, that's more like Ridley. No, he's like, you got to talk about his shit. Yeah. Abed, you and me and Kate are going to go to this <laughs> restaurant... He's like, where's, we're gonna learn putting on cameras and putting on a hat and like getting a two point rating, you know, like, and, and and so everyone that's everyone chasing him or cheering him on is all going, ha, that crazy monkey, shit, you can do that, yeah. like the it's like the monkey doesn't even know what it's doing, like it's running into edit bays and like pressing buttons that make just like champagne and coke come out of a, a big sliding wall that was hidden from the Robert Evans era, and like everyone's like, okay, noted there too. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so, 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 if you have more than a 90 IQ plus choose fascism, you could really get some shit done in this country. Whereas he's just going like, <laughs> I got lonely, I'm lonely, so, and, 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 like, he went throughout his life, like, he was a, he was a, he was this, the son of a fucking slumlord with a trust fund, he blew through it, and then one day, he tried, he was a Democrat, and he tried to get rich people to like him, and rich people were like, you're tacky, you're gross. Like, you're creepy. I heard you fucked a 13-year-old. Get out of here. And then, and he's like, duh, those are allegations. And like, it means, it's, you know, I don't have those allegations against me. <laughs> I don't want the system to work that way, but I just think that you shouldn't have 13-year-olds accusing you of fucking them. All right, so, the, 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 the just Google it and, like, let's figure it out. I don't know if, this, he had, like, a preteen model agency. Like, who has that? I, but he was like, so he's like, you know, he's like doing high society and like, like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big rich guy and I want to hang out with the Baldwins and the, and the things and the, and, the, and they're, you know, they're just, he's just kind of a joke. And then he's just like getting older and older. And then he's like, and then he's, and then he's like, so he's like, well, what, so who, who in this world that's left? Like, would ever just give me what Howard Stern was giving me, what the television show was giving me, other thing, and, and it's just like, ugh, you know, the the the, the P. T. Barnum like 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 uh, the devil character from uh, uh, Needful Things was like, well, uh, I got the bin over here. I just, we just just hillbilly Nazis would would love you. <laughs> Are you sure about that? That doesn't seem like a big fit to it's, me. It sounds like a great sitcom. <laughs> like 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 no no, they're pretty easy. Here, put on this trucker cap and just start saying I'm tired of brown people. Like like. <laughs> It'll catch on, believe me. We're, it's, 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 we're, we're rife for it. And he's like, okay, I'll try it. And it fucking worked, and I'm going to kill myself. All right. <sighs> but, uh, yeah. I was just thinking, you know, it's like, you know, the people are like, oh, oh, look at it. Uh, this is it. This is a deal breaker with the wrestling thing that he tweeted. Cause it, but <laughs> it was, like, so sad when people are like, because it's violent imagery. Is he promoting violence against journalists? Like, well, don't play into that fucking... He's promoting violence against good Photoshop or After Effects. That was pretty crude. Yeah, and the guy that did it, you know, and then everyone is like, well, look at the last uh, thing this guy did, and it's like some Nazi shit. But good job. You're, you're a big healer, Jeff. <laughs> he, he really knows how to heal this I guy. I gave myself you know around a around Oh, I forgot. I did a doodle of your guys' new characters, but I didn't finish it. Oh. I should have oh, finished shit. it. I'll, I'll post it online. But, well, uh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll put those up on the screen when we, when we play. Oh, oh yeah, that'd time. be awesome. What are, what, yeah, are yeah, the, yeah. what are the action items for, because we're really, you know, like, so for people that are in the area, okay, when's the show? What's so it called? What do the tickets cost? And uh, You can go to starburnscastle.com to buy tickets. It's this Thursday on July 6th, so after July 4th. It's called What About Me? What About Me with uh, Callie and Abed. Maybe in Cali. Uh, there's also well, music. Uh, in Cali. There's a wonderful musician, Chris Lind, who's a friend of mine from New York, and I'm actually going to be doing a duet with him. Oh, wow. So yeah, it's also like a venue. What song are you guys doing? I'm not going to tell you. It's a surprise. Oh, I see. <laughs> but like, uh, it's like I like I, I play music and I'm you a singer songwriter, so it's also a venue where not only I get to participate in the comedy and I let him kind of run off the rails, but I get to you know do well, new well, songs. We're lucky that she stuff. doesn't interfere well, with my comedy. When I eventually come on the show, can I sing a song with you? Of course. Are you kidding me? That oh would man, be wonderful. you're a great singer. I would yeah. love to do like a country duet. Can you guys do? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I love a rainy night. No, that's a great song. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You're a big Eddie Rabbit fan. We know that about you. All right. I, I tried. I tried. I think it is. But yeah, no, starburnscastle.com and, and just right here where we are right now. All right. All right well, let's right hear here. for Callie and Abed, everybody. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Check out this show. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Go to Harmontown Castle. 
What about me? Thank you, my love. Also, find her artwork online. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. She, Callie Kazoo, uh, dot com? Yeah. yeah it's, uh, I have, uh, she did a portrait of Roy Orbison for me that's hanging in my bathroom. Yeah, her Instagram is awesome. She's always doing the, like, the cute little, like, Callie looking things. I'm not an artist. I don't know how to yeah. talk about it. Because, like, she draws, like, this really cute, like, kind of cutesy pie, Disney, like, pinup girl kind of things, but it's always about, like, kind of sadness and loneliness. And so it's such a good. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of vomiting, a lot of crying. It's, it's, very, it's very good. I, know how I, feel. <laughs> uh, I wonder if we have time just for a couple of Twitter questions here. All right. It's, oh, it's, I it's, hope we have time. It's, it's nine. Somebody, somebody asked a really interesting question. Uh, so, somebody, I can't. Oh, uh, uh, he said, if you had $1,000, how much would you regret your life decisions? <laughs> and I, I was like, oh, is that a joke? I was like, oh, no, you mean if I was. Yeah, fuck. Oh, my God. It was really because I was like, if I if if I hadn't been as lucky in my life, like I would like like how much torture would I be inflicting on myself for every fucking thing that I've ever done? And it's like it's fucked up that we do that to ourselves because I I guarantee you like the like I, I the fact that I have more than a thousand dollars isn't the result of smart choices. Nor should I nor should I be patting myself on the back for the choices I made. Like it's kind of two different things. It's like two different graphs. Like oh. Money got made, but then and it fucking worked, and I'm gonna kill myself. All right, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was just thinking, you know, it's like the uh, people are like, oh, oh, look at it. Uh, this is it. This is a deal breaker with the wrestling thing that he tweeted. Because it, <laughs> it was like so sad when people are like, because it's violent imagery. Is he promoting violence against journalists? Like, well, don't play into that. Fucking He's promoting violence against good. Photoshop or After Effects. That was pretty crude. Yeah, and the guy that did it, you know, and then everyone is like, well, look at the last uh, thing this guy did, and it's like some Nazi shit about how everyone at CNN's a Jew or whatever. And then, uh, the, um, the, See, and it's there like, I agree. I agree with him on that one. You agree that everyone at CNN's a Jew? I'm just kidding. I don't, but according to his chart, I mean, if you only go by that, I don't have any other data. Uh, <laughs> The, the, it's, it's, it seemed like it was scientific. I, I, the, the, um, the, but it was like, 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 decrying that, I feel like it was like, actually, didn't you kind of feel like when he, when he does something crazy, then it's like, you kind of feel like, I don't know, what am I measuring it by? But it's just kind of like the Twitter zeitgeist. Like you see, a, you, I feel like you see a little spike in people going like, all right, come on, man, knock it off. Get off Twitter. Like people that voted for him going like, come on, you're embarrassing me. You know? <laughs> But 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 then the more that we go, that's right. He's embarrassing you, and technically he's in violation of political correctness because that's actual racism if you look it up. And then and then the person that was like, "You're embarrassing," me, goes, "Oh yeah, I remember why I voted for you, like like because I, I feel stupid and barbaric, and I'm tired of feeling that way. So instead of improving myself, I pulled a lever that you know said I would have to, I could put that off for four years." Uh, <laughs> But that's us too. We're all lazy. We're all not, we're, none of us are out there doing fucking mental crunches, like trying to figure out how to be good people. I, I've only gotten to the point where I'm like, I'm just like, oh, I was wrong about everything my entire life. That's possible even when you're a genius. <laughs> so what hope do we have for morons? How, what, how are they going to flip? Like, what are we going to like? Is there going to be an obelisk outside of? Uh, Fucking uh, trailer park and like like everyone that caused this problem is gonna like hear this high pitched whine and touch it and then throw a fucking uh, spray 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 can <laughs> spray paint can in the air that turns into a a, 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 a job at a solar uh, a panel factory. I want you to never stop this metaphor. I want this to go on <laughs> for the rest of the show. I want that to be a scene in a Kubrick movie. I mean, what do we think we're going to do? We're waiting. We're, we're in a civil war culturally. We're, we're, and, and believe me, there's just as many dumb people on both sides. Like, and laziness and like adds to dumbness. And it's like at this point, we're at this like impasse or something. And impasses don't get, they don't just sit there. Like, we used to think we were at an impasse, but what we were really in was like the reign of the bipartisan system, which I used to sit there and scoff at, but we didn't know how good we had it. And it was like, oh, I want my corruption back. I want my bureaucracy back. I want my like, I want my fucking transparent collusion. That. Kali Kazoo and what Real Abed 2. It's a double whammy. There's a cloud underneath this crazy. What the it's fuck? It's a cloud of boy. ice. Cloud of ice. Did you Did not notice Kelly? that? I was, when I was you're focused sitting? on the Fontecchio and I was like. You I'm got gonna, the last I'm thing right, which is a big 
Like a big, uh, you know, that's a big achievement. I've never said your last name. (laughs) Thank you. You said it correctly. He he said it now, just now. Yeah. Were you named? I mean, we both both have unpronounceable names. Were you named after Kali, like the uh, the, the god of destruction or whatever? Goddess of death. I always shake his hand when I come up. Okay. There right. you go. Well, Sorry, I had to do that. Glad we didn't miss ritual. that moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like two seconds. No, it was important. Very important. I did it every time I, I came up here. So, As including I now. Keep the tradition going. Eat that yeah. mic. All right, thanks. Right Callie, you're looking very smart with your fuzzy uh, Simpsons bag there. Thank you. you. It's a uh, Soma and uh, Patty, yeah. It's nice. <laughs> My favorite part is their unshaved legs. Yeah, yeah. Did, did, did you, Patty and Zelma. Did you purchase this, or is this something you created? Oh, no, I purchased this. Yeah. It's a purse slash pillow. <laughs> I guess when you pass out at parties, you need that. Yeah. Because then you can just use a pillow that isn't there. Tell me There's never a, p- a pillow. I passed out at a party recently. No oh, pillow. Oh, boy. I remember you talked to a guy who passed out at a party, but you didn't care. It was that's Ron, a famous oh, yeah, that was was Ron Hassler. Oh, my God. That's that's just story. Gonna, I mean, that story's sure never going that. away. It's, like, it's like the OK Corral. Or like, it's like you shot a, a match off a of buffalo's back or something. It was like, <laughs> why like, the fuck like, does that story keep coming up all the time? I'll tell you why yeah. by telling you the story. You... <laughs> It, it, it was a Halloween party, or no, it was a wizard party, and you yeah. and everybody and was it came wizard, dressed. Is it where me and Justin everyone came dressed as like actual wizards, like cone hats, like moons and stars and wands and stuff and, uh, like that. And me and Justin, we just went to a thrift store and found random shit, and then he was the wizard of cell phone technology, <laughs> and I was the wizard of the past or something. So, I had like an Indian outfit, I mean a Native American outfit. Oh shit, sorry. So the party's winding down, people are getting kind of high, there's like maybe nine people, we're tired, we're just, there's just a bunch of out of shape wizards like sitting in this kind of like main area Because it was party. a full, it was a full it, it on was, wizard dance party, it was just was wizards like, just dancing. Yeah, dude, it was fun, man, I had a great time. A I of, love seeing wizards All of parties. our mana has worn down, we're regenerating it. Uh, and, uh, and we're just talking, and, and at some point somebody goes like, alright, I'm going to keep talking to you like this. Because I don't want to make a big deal out of it, but I want you <laughs> to, at some point, look over <laughs> to the other room where... It was Rob, wasn't it? Where Abed is sitting in a director chair, like, next to uh, our friend Rod Hasler, who is also sitting in a director's chair, only, like, at that point, like, Rod, he's like, like watch, Abed is talking to Rod, and Rod, excuse me, Rod is just, he's falling asleep. Like, he's not all the way asleep. But, but like, he keeps, his head keeps, like, now. And then everyone was like, and they're like, yeah. My my dog, I had had a, a, a crazy dog when I was a kid and ate a bean bag open and ate all the, the little tiny styrofoam pellets. Ate, like, as much as, a, as, as could fit inside of a dog. And then just kept pooping styrofoam poop. Yeah. Which was amazing because it was like the easiest poop to pick up because it was so lightweight and <laughs> versatile. And then one time, ate, went into one of my shoes, ate the shoe, like, like a basketball shoe I had that had like one of the, the, the foot liners, like the little pads that goes in there. Ate the thing and it came out a spiral foot liner. It, 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 did, it came out like you could have put that back in the shoe. Well, so, n- yeah, Nigel dogs eats are like fucking everything. boa constrictors. Like, Nig- the food goes- uh, N- Nigel ate a coat hanger two days before this all happened, which is why I thought, I was like, oh, it's a coat hanger. He must have wood splinters in there. He ate a coat hanger, a wooden, a nice wooden coat hanger. He probably ate the, ate the grass to uh, like chase it. That, yeah, it's probably, it could be what it was. They eat yeah. something softer than a coat hanger. They do, they do eat grass. If, you know, that's what everyone keeps saying. Well, you know, they eat grass when their stomach hurts. I'm like, what is this, what is this information? Why are you gainsaying me? It's a story. They already pulled it out. What do you want me to do about that? You want me to go talk to the dog? I think dog? they want you, you to talk. not know more than they do because they studied medicine and they know how to fix dogs. Oh, well, no. I was talking about people on Twitter. Oh, okay. Like you say, oh, yeah. don't, don't do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think grass is thinking? What was it about, like, evolutionarily? Like, wait, what, what was it? So gra- grass is like a half step up from... Because I know moss, you know. I know moss. And... <laughs> Moss is like pre Can, can we have one podcast, Dan, where you're not going on your moss rants? <laughs> moss is like your, your basically your first plant. You know, it's like the idea of like, well, why don't we maybe, well, what are we doing on the water all the time? Why don't we just like be on a rock next to the water? And then like, like we'll get splashed and we'll drink that, but then we'll get a lot more sunlight or something like that. But and it's, that's before the advent, because then you're just limited to like the, the, the surface of uh, things. And, uh, and then the big, the big step was 
capillary action, taking advantage of water's slight negative ionic charge, which you will see illustrated when you do dishes and try to pull your plates apart. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a whole, that's, that's how, but water, if it didn't have that, if it didn't have that slight charge to it, then it couldn't be drawn up as far, basically, as you want to. A redwood tree is using that, that, uh, that slight charge to carry uh, water all the way up. I'm probably very wrong about most of this. <laughs> but it's the precursor this, of our... By the way, Dan, went to, Dan briefly went to community college and, and <laughs> took a biology class, learned a lot about plants, and now knows exactly this much about plants, yeah. but wrote a TV show about going to community college. Right. But it's pretty fascinating because water. It's true. I do Not live like with that, with though. Or, or you live with me. I forgot you guys me. are roommates. Oh, yeah, we're roommates. Yeah. Huh. We're roommates. Uh, There's a show. Yeah, no. Is Spencer yeah. a happy roommate? He's like the best roommate I've probably ever had. I would had. imagine he'd be oh. a pretty good roommate. Yeah, no, I, I hope my old roommates aren't listening, but really, you my are. My secret God is I spend most I of it. my life thinking I'm a terrible roommate. Seriously? Right? Yeah. I can I, see him being a good roommate. Well, okay, I get, like, you have the most adorable cat that I get to like vicariously love. Yeah. Because she's got little short, stumpy legs, and she's super timid. And and this cat has its own comedy show. She called, does. Right. Here we go. What I'm about me? What are the, <laughs> what are the, what are the, what about <laughs> meow? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Hit yeah. it with a, it's me. Yeah, I might have a black eye and a broken nose, but I can still do the puns. Uh, you, you're yeah. looking pretty good with a broken nose, yeah. by the way. Thank you. It's, it's, Wait, it, it's healed fast, because last time I saw you, it was worse. Yeah, it's, it's getting better. It's pretty, yeah, you're, you're a good healer. Yeah. Good Thank job. You're, you're a big healer, Jeff. <laughs> he, he really knows how to heal this I guy. Gave myself you know your way uh, around Oh, I forgot. I did a doodle of your guys' new characters, but I didn't finish it. Oh. I should have oh, finished shit. it. I'll, I'll post it online. But, well, well, yeah, we'll, we'll put those up on the screen when we, when we play. Oh, oh yeah, that'd be time. awesome. What are, what, are yeah, the, yeah. what are the action items for, because we're really, you know, like, so for people that are in the area, okay, when's the show? What's so it called? What do the tickets cost? And uh, You can go to starburnscastle.com to buy tickets. It's this Thursday on July 6th, so after July 4th. It's called What About Me? What About Me with uh, Callie and Abed. Maybe in Cali. Uh, there's also well, music. Uh, in Cali. There's a wonderful musician, Chris Lind, who's a friend of mine from New York, and I'm actually going to be doing a duet with him. Oh, wow. So yeah, it's also like a venue. What song are you guys doing? I'm not going to tell you. It's a surprise. Oh, I see. <laughs> but like, uh, it's like I like I, I play music and I'm you a singer songwriter. So it's also a venue where not only I get to participate in the comedy and I let him kind of run off the rails, but I get to you know do well, new well, songs. We're lucky that she stuff. doesn't interfere with my comedy. When I eventually come on the show, can I sing a song with you? Of course. Are you kidding me? That oh would man, be wonderful. you're a great singer. I would yeah. love to do like a country duet. Can you guys do? Uh, yeah. it, I love a rainy night. No, that's a great song. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You're a big Eddie Rabbit fan. We know that about you. <laughs> All right. I, I tried. I tried. Thank you, this. But yeah, no, starburnscastle.com and, and just right here where we are right now. All right. Well, let's right hear here. for Callie and Abed, everybody. Uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Check out this show. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Go to Harmontown Castle. What about me? Thank you, my love. Also, find her artwork online. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. She, Callie Kazoo, uh, dot com? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I have, uh, she did a portrait of Roy Orbison for me that's hanging in my bathroom. Yeah, her Instagram is awesome. She's always doing the like the cute little like Cali looking things. I'm not an artist. I don't know how to yeah. talk about. Because right. like she draws like this really cute like kind of cutesy pie Disney like pinup girl kind of things, but it's always about like kind of sadness and loneliness. It's, 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 like it's all like if you were talking to somebody and you and they were and they went like that. He was slightly awake. Like, wouldn't you? I mean, was, you would. You would at some point. Maybe it's, he's it's, a bad listener. And, but 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 the but that's where heroism comes in. Like, but, I, 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 like but by the time that that passed around to me, and like everybody just look over there, don't make a big deal. And I looked over, and Rod was completely comatose. It kept getting funnier, and funnier. It says his head was dangling like an apple on an old. Well, that's my fault. The story tree. got like, his more boring. Head was like parallel yeah. to the, the floor. Getting, like there was no mistaking this man for conscious. Like I, I went but, to work stories, and, and also there was. A point because you were talking and like everyone was watching you, but we couldn't quite hear what you were saying. But there was a point where you were you were his head was just 
dangling over the arm of the chair, and 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 we were, and as we were all watching you, and then at a certain point, you 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 reacted to him as if he had like interrupted you or something. I, I like, you kind of like, or like he had made a, a a good point that allowed you to to to, to well, that's well, a different matter. Like he, he was listening, but he slightly uh, zoned out. Like I right, like maybe he snored or something, and yeah. you're like, well, speaking of that, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I, I thought he was still awake. So then he did some motion that I'm like, you. you how what could I'm you? Saying. What in the yeah. weekend at Bernie? Were you talking like, about Farscape? I, no, I was talking about. Well, we worked together at the time on Mansers, and I was saying stuff like, "Do, do people at work like me? Am, am I annoying?" <laughs> and I, I think like I was trying to get validation that people liked me at work, so I, I was like confused because they treated me weird there. So I'm like, hey, "Come on, they like me, right?" And I think he phased out at a certain point. But I was so, in, in, I was so uh, passionate about what I was talking about that I didn't notice he passed out. So, yeah, you guys saw that. You saw me, I, I mean, he was awake two seconds ago. Yeah. And then in those two seconds, he fell asleep. Well, thank you for saying the words pass out so that we could all remember to mock yeah. you for that same thing oh, from okay. like 11 years ago. <laughs> Look, I, it was weird because you guys looked over at the right comedic moment where it was funny. No, for no. Me. We were watching you for 45 minutes. Like <laughs> there was no, it wasn't a window. Of, oh, we got, I got it just the right time. Like planet Earth. Like, oh man, that, no. that orca we, just leapt up. We for can, real. Uh, we, yeah. we, we, we were all playing it cool, but marveling. Like, <laughs> you you kind of had your head down and you were making a point about Ben Folds 5 or something. <laughs> and so with some record. Or whatever, and, and he was completely oh, yeah. oh, dead. Was a, you were trying right, to a corpse, and, and, and we're like, you're like wait, he's in heaven right now. Oh, man, I'm so embarrassed. I mean, because the weird thing is, later when you guys said you were watching the whole time, I was like, I didn't remember. It's yeah. like I, I did talk to him, but I mean, we I were all we were asleep. It was the end of a very long drunken party, so right, everybody right. gets a pass on that one. But it was it was it was delightful. It sounds like we're making fun of you. It, it was it kind it's, of it's, it's, well, not, for you guys. It was delightful. I mean, I don't. I was like, no, oh, but yeah, it, it, it was almost like watching a, a superhero. Like 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 you you. you well, that's weird. I mean, we make fun of like like I look. I was thinking. About I can it. talk to people while they sleep. I'm a superhero. I I like I I was. It was a surprise. We did not expect a different doctor to no. come through the door. Yeah, we, I I thought maybe like a bouncer from Jerry Springer would come in or something and like go like okay, well you guys gotta go like uh, we need this room. I, we didn't really. But a new, a new doctor comes in. Hi, I'm Doctor Ruiz. He he shakes our hands and then he starts looking at the X-rays and he and he 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 acts like there's but he just. Like, like like nothing has happened. He goes he goes like I'm Doctor Miss. So uh, so we're gonna do some exploratory sur surgery on, on Nigel. We're gonna go in and we're gonna pull this foreign body out. Uh, and and I'm like what? And, 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 Sp and Spencer says okay, but uh, what would you say if we told you that the last guy said the exact opposite thing? <laughs> and the guy says oh no I know that I just talked to him. I totally disagree with him. I have a I have a totally second opinion are, are, are about are what to partners? do about your dog. Are, 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 is it is it? Anderson and Ruiz, like, 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 like a good cop, bad cop. They're like, this is the thing that will plague me forever because this guy was nice and I was like, yes, now we're talking. Cut my dog open. See you later. Here's $1,700. I'll see you three days from now. I should change my dog's life with a scalpel and just walked out skipping and going, and going like, by the way, that first guy's a prick. But like, 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 what, what, was I my part of some? Were they just like, uh, like, you know, like, you, you know, the, like, like, the guy comes out and he goes like, oh, we gotta, you know, they probably have some veterinarian code for it. Like, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, uh, a, a, a D, a DFI, DFI or whatever. Yeah, like, that, that's how, like, like, we, we, we like, gotcha. Let's cut his dog open and make him pay. And like, <laughs> we, we just is the is the is the second Wait, guy yeah, yeah, the, the is the second guy totally inept and love. Do they call him the butcher of Burbank and like? <laughs> Uh, but but he's uh, he's a people pleaser and so and so I was our first guy like the Einstein of of of, of dog eat dogs eating shit and, and I was just like fuck man you know like 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 when he's on Charlie Rose Charlie Rose will go what what do you think is the biggest problem facing veterinarian medicine I think it's I think it's the worship of the myth of bedside manner I got to tell you I, I like 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 I I've, I I think we're I think we we we, we these these are patients that can't speak to us and if they could, I, I'm sorry I'm getting upset Charlie he's like yeah you, well you're doing this thing you sound kind of patient. See, it's happening again. But I'm telling you, I'm a good fucking dog doctor, and I could have been a brilliant child doctor, but nobody's gonna let me near those little fuckers. <laughs> uh, like, like, so I, so I, so I humble myself. I stoop. I try to do my best. No harm. I come into this stinky hospital. I'm dealing with these little, tiny, scaled-down, disposable patients. Uh, but I'm still a big prick. 
I'm still the worst guy at the hospital. And he, he's like, he's trying to save you money. He's like, I don't think this is a big deal. Yeah. You're going to talk to Ruiz in, in 45 seconds, and he loves to charge you for... Yeah. Like, uh, I'll go get Jack the Ripper. Uh, uh, elective, yep. <laughs> elective dog surgery. Oh, you like feeling good about, uh, about yourself? You, you want to make a best friend that loves cutting your dog up? I'll go get him. So what happened? The, the, the other one, which I guess is what he's doing, you can hear him faintly out there talking to another guy. And I'm like saying to Spencer, like, what, what is it me? Is it you? Is it, what, is it the dog? What, is it him? Like, and I was just, like, I don't think he knows that he sounds passive aggressive. I right. think he's just stupid in that sense. Yeah, he had like, a, you know, maybe an aptitude for uh, treating dogs probably doesn't uh, spike in the same brain statistically as an aptitude for like communicating with people. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, there, there are certain fields of medicine that, like, like doctors will tell you that, like, no, like we're not people persons, or we're not people people. We're, we're, we're we want to solve you. We don't want to hang out with you or talk to you. We don't touch you. Right. Uh, we, we just want to like open you up and look at your. Sure, insides. maybe this guy was like, oh, I get it. They're animals, so I can be like a savage, horrible, primal monster. Maybe, I... maybe you're so ursine, and because he's a veterinarian, he thought you might actually be a bear. Right. <laughs> And so it was like a, And he kept saying you guys to prove that you're actually a person and not a bear. It was the veterinarian equivalent of like a racism thing like where, where it, it's like he didn't really believe I was a bear like a magic talking bear but <laughs> I, I put off enough of a ba- bear vibe right. that a guy who loves dogs and cats and treats their ales is like I don't like this guy. Yeah. Looks, he looks like someone that eats in a landfill. <laughs> And, and, and that's an enemy of, of, of the canine and the feline in my book. My name's not Dr. Asshole. So, 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 so five minutes goes by, and the new doctor comes in. And he goes, hello, my name's Dr. Ruiz. And, and that was a surprise. We did not expect a different doctor to no. come through the door. Yeah, we, I, I thought maybe like a bouncer from Jerry Springer would come in or something and like go, like, well, you guys got to go. Like, uh, we need this room. I, we didn't really. But a new, a new doctor comes in. Hi, I'm Dr. Ruiz. He, he shakes our hands. And then he starts looking at the x-rays. And he, and he, he, he acts like there's, but he just, like, like nothing has happened. He, go, he goes like, oh, I'm Dr. Ruiz. So, uh, so we're going to do some exploratory sur- surgery on, on Nigel. We're going to go in and we're gonna pull this foreign body out uh and and i'm like what and and, and, Sp- and spencer says okay but uh, what would you say if we told you that the last guy said the exact opposite thing <laughs> and the guy says oh no i know that i just talked to him i totally disagree with him i have a i have a totally second opinion are, are, about are what to partners? do about your dog are, 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 is it is it anderson and ruiz like like like, like, like good cop, bad cop they're like this is the thing that will plague me forever because this guy was nice and i was like yes now we're talking cut my dog open see you later here's seventeen hundred dollars i'll see you three days from now i should change my dog's life with a scalpel and just walked out skipping and going, and going like by the way that first guy's a prick but you're like, 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 what, what, was am I part of some? Were they just like, uh, like, you know, like, you, you know, the, like, the, the guy comes out and he goes like, oh, we gotta, you know, they probably have some veterinarian code for it. Like, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta uh, a D, a D, a DFI, DFI or whatever. Yeah, like, that's not, like, like, we, we, like, gotcha. Let's cut his dog open and make him pay. 